Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. It's boys night. Oh my god, it's been so long. Uh, and we're trying something new tonight. We have a Twitch guest star. Um, so, uh, yeah, you guys can see their channels live right now as well. Um, uh, and, uh, yeah, and I think I linked to their channels, uh, or their apps in the, uh, in the stream title. Um, yeah, unfortunately, Brandon could not make it tonight. Um, uh, so, unfortunate. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, uh, maybe next week if we do some more boys stream. Yeah! Yeah, sad about Brandon, but things happen. Yeah. Rest He's in dead peace. to us. <laughs> uh, we went entirely saying? opposite directions with the same direction <laughs> at the same time. I wasn't trying to be snarky or anything. <laughs> no, no. No, John was like, rest in peace. And I said, He's dead to us. <laughs> Oh dang, I, I missed that exchange. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're playing Tears of the Kingdom just because that's kind of what's been occupying all of our times recent, uh, recently. Yeah! Um, My footage uh, will move eventually, I'm just really hungry. No, no, yeah, it's all good. This is, we're playing Tears of the Kingdom, but it's going to be more of like a chill stream. Also, um, for some reason OBS isn't capturing my avatar correctly, so unfortunately I have to use the PNG tonight. Fucking OBS, just terrible software, you know, just... Why is my thing so lopsided? God, nah. <laughs> you know, You know what? This will work. I don't care anymore. I was about to say that. So Boom. This will... Oh, fuck. This is not working. This is not working. You got this. <laughs> It'll work. This is... <laughs> this is not working. Oh, well. Oh, oh. Let's go. Let's go. This is... <laughs> there we go. So Nick's still at fairly close to the beginning of the game. Wes, I think, has already completed at least the main story. Um, yeah. I have not completed the main story yet. I will do that on stream probably tomorrow. Um, we'll see. I think I still have quite a bit to go, actually. Um, For now, I'm just kind of hunting down all the shrines. Yeah, that's what I was doing too for a bit. I think I, I'm still doing that. Yeah, so th this is a good chance to just like chill and grind. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. Um, and yeah, and talk about video games. So um, yeah, so I'm sure everybody, I mean, most people on, on Twitch probably have been paying attention to all the new game reveals that have happened recently. Uh, surprisingly, yeah. There's, there's a, actually decent stuff coming out. There's so much coming out, it's crazy. So, there's this Dark Souls-ish kind of game called Rise of P. Oh, I can't yeah, it's it's Pinocchio, but Dark Souls. What a clever twist, right? It's a, a dark fairy tale, but done in a Souls-like game. That's... I played the demo and I raged because... Like, raging is kind of a good thing in a Souls game because that means... <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, very souls like it's it's very good though. Mm. The the yeah. visuals look cool. I haven't played it myself yet. Since you like Lies of P West, I genuinely think you'd like Bloodborne cuz it's literally just Bloodborne with Yeah, Pinocchio. that's what I've been hearing. Yeah, that's what I've been hearing. It's <laughs> just Bloodborne. Like, and um, plus the Elden Ring experience is kicking in with Lies of P cuz it, it's a, it plays very similarly. Yeah, Elden I mean Elden Ring is also a souls like though. It is, yes. Well, and the nice thing is, like, it's just Bloodborne's all offense because you don't have a shield, and it looks like Blood or Liza P is the same thing. Just you can't, you might be able to parry, but it's like no shield. You just have to fucking go, go, go. Yeah, when, when you block, you also take a little damage too. So that was one of the struggles I had to overcome in Liza P, where you block, but you still take damage. I've died from blocking a lot. So I'm like, oh, like, what do you, like, what am I supposed to do? I have to figure that out. Level up or something. There's probably like some new game mechanic. Yeah, but like the atmosphere, enemy design, mechanic, 
they're all really. Oh, bless you, cutting out a little bit. Oh, sorry. How about now? Sounds okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah lice, lice and P. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Hold on, that's on my end. Uh, wait. Oh, hmm. Okay, this will be... Oh, wait, hold on. I have an idea. Okay, how's that? How's the game audio now? What the fuck just happened? Go! Why? Oh, bitch, of course. Uh. Okay, so then, I'll move. You're in the clear. No. With the audio. No! Oh, awesome, thank you. Fuck. God damn it. Um, yeah, uh, I, I mean, I've never, I mean, the only Souls like I've played is Dark Souls. Yeah, I mean... I want to play Elden Ring. It looks like fun. Elden Ring is really good. It's open world. Souls game. Yeah, it looks like, like Breath of the Wild so like, Souls like. The, yeah, yeah, so like the exploration is definitely one of the highlights. While trying not to die by quite literally everything you... <laughs> It's good though. It's a good one. Bitch. You've done them all, Vegenox. I mean, there are people who like Souls likes. Nothing wrong with that. It's a yeah. It's a different gameplay. Like it's a unique gameplay style. I mean, yeah. I mean, like I guess. I mean, the challenge is fun. It feels very satisfying to actually win. It's like you earned the victory. Right, and there's like that constant feeling of like kind of like doom when you're playing because you can get even like uh, common enemies can kill you at any second if you're not careful. Yeah. Yeah, Verdnox got it right. The game doesn't get easier, you can just get better as a player. Which is how progression should work. Right, because with the constant death and stuff, you learn from your mistakes. It's like, oh, I shouldn't be doing that, I should be doing this instead. Or maybe it's like, oh, I need to use this weapon. Go about the fight. Again. Yeah, but the, definitely the art direction for Lies of P is really good. Yeah, that, that was the most striking thing to me. Kind of reminds me of uh, that Alice game. Oh, the American McGee Alice. That's, that's the one, yeah. You know, like Return to Madness or something yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine if Lies of P does so well that they do Alice in Wonderland next? Like that's <laughs> Alice, in, Alice in Wonderland soul <laughs> slice. Soul. Yeah, that'd be dope, actually. <laughs> There's a lot to, uh, there'd be a lot to do for that one. Yeah. Or maybe, like, Wizard of Oz Souls like. Oh my god! <laughs> like, all the bosses are just, like, the Tin Man, the Lion, the Witch. Oh god, like, your, your friends are the boss. There's a lot of potential there. Yeah, Wizard of Oz Souls like. <laughs> That'd be kind of dope, not gonna lie. Which, uh, which game announced are you most looking forward to? Um, well, there's Final Fantasy 16 the next week. Oh, uh, yeah. The demo's incredible. Go play it if you're able to. It's amazing. Yeah, it's a free demo, right? It is free, yes. There's a lot to the demo, too. Like, there's, like, a story demo that's, like, two and a half hours. Yeah, I, then... I, I, saw, um, I saw you streaming it. 
I don't know if I was supposed to make it work like this, but I did. Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if it <laughs> if it's stupid, but it works, it's not stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Besides the story demo in sixteen, there's the uh, they're called the it's called the icon challenge, where they put you in a point in the story where you have like some of the icon abilities and like like a pretty decent build for Clive already. So yeah. you get to experience what kind of like early mid game ish is like. That game looks so cinematic. Very. Absolutely. They're flexing. I mean <laughs> 15 was super cinematic as well. That's true. Yeah. But like the demo I saw I was playing was like insane. Like like everybody like lost their minds at like, you know, Advent Children or whatever, but now it's like that it's being rendered with higher fidelity in real time. Now now it's like a more hyper realism than than that movie, you know? Yeah. Fucking Advent Children. Oh my I mean Square's God. always been on like the cutting edge of graphics oh. technology. Definitely. It helps that they have a lot of money. Yeah. That's probably where so much of their budget goes. Yeah. Oh really? I thought it all went to fashion. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Didn't they pay like a like a fashion designer a ton of money for the fifteen designs? Probably. Uh, that sounds was about that, right. Was that the same guy who designed the fucking Maruchan ramen uh, sponsorships? <laughs> 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 or that camping gear sponsorship? And then you have the uh, you have the Final Fantasy fifteen cameo in Tekken seven. Yes. Yeah, Noctis, Noctis is uh, playable in Tekken 7. That's pretty cool. Everyone is using their like their fists and their feet, and <laughs> Noctis is just like, I got a sword, I've got magic. I got a sword with an engine. I'm just glad they're not making it so like, oh, hey, here's a movie tie-in that you need to watch before the game so you can understand the whole story. Like, no, that was a ridiculous concept for 15. Oh, definitely, yeah. <laughs> So it's good that 16 is a standalone title that, like, veterans are still like, get into. Yeah. And I'm loving the darker tone, too. Oh, yeah, that M rating is, uh... <laughs> earned? <laughs> it's it, it's earned, yes. It's not for show. Like, there's a lot of messed up things that happen in the story. 15 became the Persona 4 oh, oh, for a oh, while, my. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Persona 4... Oh my god. Everyone's oh, yeah, excited Persona for Persona 3. 3. Persona 3 Reload. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm mostly hyped for the game. There's a few things I'm a little iffy about. I'll, I'll, like, I'll still get the game and support. It definitely looks cool. I've never played it myself. I've never played the original 3 myself. So, uh, it would be so, fun like, the to... Original, the original 3 is actually like on all major platforms in Steam, I think. Oh, I, like, yeah. I, I think I have them. I just haven't played it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Story's really good in, uh, in 3, especially. It's just overall... amazing the... Oh, sorry, go for it, Wes. I was, I was just about to say, uh, just, it's just the overall theme of, like, death and how that affects every character that you come across in the game. Yeah, the, uh, the, the imagery of, like, the evokers uh, is really striking. Yeah. That's the way to summon the personas too, is because like, it's like it's giving your the character the adrenaline of like you're about to die, and that does something in your psyche that unleashes that power. That's that's such a cool concept. Yeah. Such a good concept that they removed it after the initial release. I mean, it would be bad if they repeated it. I think because then it would just get old. No, no, I meant like in the P3 Portable, they removed it, and then the. Steam. Oh really? Yeah, because there was a bunch of controversy about the fact that, oh, these kids are shooting themselves. Right. Some <laughs> That's why in, like, uh, P3P, they use uh, the tarot cards. Oh, that is pretty lame, actually. And then in the remaster Wait. on stream, they also use the tarot cards. Wait, P3P, they still use evokers. Do they? Because there's one release where they took out the evokers because there was some controversy, so they use tarot cards instead. That's Persona 4, I think. No, it was uh, before 4. Or really? maybe it was released after, yeah. I know, because I was like, I love P3, but I remember thinking, like, why'd they take out the, one of the coolest parts of P3? And then I was kind of butthurt. They kept the evokers in there, because how else are they going to summon the personas? Unless you're talking about maybe, like, a Chinese re-release, like Nera stated? 
I'll look it up in just a second because when I'm done. With, with Chinese laws, fish. you can't have themes of death for anything. So. Oh yeah, or blood. Or sex. So you have to take all those out. Ha! <laughs> nerds. Yeah. Oh, I'm about to get fucking beat up on by a bunch of nerds. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Bad <laughs> touch. Bad touch. Uh, what's my fucking weapon? Oh, my broadsword badly damaged. Yeah, there's that <gasps> Persona 5 sequel mobile game. That's oh, like, yeah. That's developed by Chinese devs, but like all the Persona designs, all the other like themes that had to do with either sex or death, they had to be censored heavily. Which is pretty lame. And that kind of like defeats the purpose of Persona. Like, oh. it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Eat fire, bitch! It's so weird that... Eat fire! They let another company develop the mobile P5. I don't even know why they needed the mobile P5. It looks like it barely has anything to do with the original P5. Why call it P5? <laughs> That's my first question. And you know inevitably, like, the game's gonna close down in, like, a year. Yeah, that that's the other point, too. Like, it's gonna release, and then, like, seven months later, hey, we're sad to announce that we're closing the servers, and then, why'd especially, you guys even try? Especially if it's Nam Namco Bandai. Oh, God. Oh, they, I don't know what they, you're talking they're about. They're like, we have, record. there's, they, like, there's four or five Mobile Tales games that have been canned within the past, like, three years, I felt. Yeah, <laughs> no, you're, it's, that's not wrong. I feel like yeah. Namco Bandai's, like, going for the, uh, world record of closing down games. They need to get back just to making console games. That's that's my argument for that. Like, just stop with the mobile scene. Like, Absolutely. It's clear, it's clear to me and everyone else that are Tales fans that you guys can't keep up with your mobile base. So just stick to consoles, please. Yeah. Don't worry, guys. We're going to get all that extra Crestoria content one day. <laughs> yeah, in manga form, right? Is it? At least the yeah. manga can't get canceled. Yes, it can. <laughs> Nam Namco's like, watch me. <laughs> the fucking Shueisha editors or whoever is doing it is like, what the fuck is this shit? And then just cancels it. Yeah, right. But at least if you buy the manga, you, they can't take it back. But that's where you're wrong, John. They'll go to your house. <laughs> and it's like, we need this back. Just rip it right out of your hands while you're reading and they're it. And like, it's like, do I get a refund? They're just like, heh, you thought. Just kick in your fucking door. <laughs> Like the F, like like the FBI or something. FBI, open up! Oh, there's someone on a horse. I want to snipe him. Where's my thing? Ah, oh, it got taken away. I am eating at the moment, uh, or uh, I am super hungry. I need to eat. Yeah. I yeah. will start playing eventually. I'm really sorry, guys. No, it's okay. We're just talking. Like this isn't a, this isn't like the game category is set to Tears of the Kingdom, but it's not really a Tears of the Kingdom stream. It's just a chatting stream. Yeah. Oh, here's a fun tip. If we're talking about Tears of the Kingdom, uh, if you uh, run into the stalls, like the skeleton things, if you have dazzle fruits on you, it instantly kills them. Oh. I just realized that their fucking arms are like insanely powerful. Yeah, but they have extremely low durability. Don't tell this fucker that I'm about to kill that. You don't see me. You do not see me. I am one with nature. Um, yeah, speaking of Persona 5, there's also the uh, that other Persona 5 spinoff. Oh, P5A? <laughs> Yeah, the like the chibi. Or P5T, whatever oh, the, it is. oh, the P5 tactics or whatever. It yeah, is? I'm not gonna get that. <laughs> <laughs> Another like, I'm, pointless I'm spinoff. Exactly, I'm a fan of Persona, but if it doesn't, it it doesn't play like Persona. It plays like a. Uh, it's more like Fire Emblem. It's more like a strategy game, which is fine, but normally fine, I should say. But I don't know with like the Persona brand attached to it. Yeah, they're really just like milking know. it. Yeah, it, P5 is the new P4. It's just every <laughs> aspect of it. It's going to get all these spin-offs and... It already has a ton of spin-offs. It does, yes. Like, Persona 5 has a Warriors game, and now it's going to get a Tactics game and... And a mobile game. <laughs> yeah. Mobile game that only, like, six people are going to play. It's going to be great. Surprise, does yeah. have a fighting game. Aren't there P5 characters in, like, another fighting game? I mean, besides Smash. I don't know. Uh, eh. 
I mean, there's always Mugen. <laughs> One in doubt, reference Mugen. <laughs> People were expecting, like, P5 Arena. Like, they were expecting, like, uh, Arc, Arc System Works like, to make them a fighting game, and it never happened. I still can't believe P4 only got, or got, I said only, but got two fucking fighting games. Yes, Persona 4 does have two fighting games tied. With a lot of P3 references, too, especially in the sequel. Where did that thing just fall from the sky? I literally just saw it. Are you talking about, like, the star piece thing? Uh, I think so. That thing that I jumped off of from earlier. And the... Oh, it's just a rock? Yeah. They, they fall all over the place. It fell, but I want that one in particular because I want to go back up because I think I can glide from there to uh, the thing. Oh, well, you know what? Let's inflict some violence. I like food. Just speaking so of, you guys know. <laughs> speaking of insane <laughs> spinoffs, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake's getting more spinoffs. It's getting another mobile game, isn't it? Uh, was it a mobile game? I don't remember. It was Final Fantasy so. VII like, Rebirth or something? No, that's oh. the that's the next entry. Oh, oh, that's the next entry in the uh, quote unquote trilogy of remakes. Oh yeah. So wait. So that's part three. No, it's part, part two. two. Oh wait, didn't part two come out a while ago? Isn't that the no, one where like you thinking of Intergrade? You're thinking of Crisis Core. Oh. <laughs> that's its own thing. Wait, or is he thinking of Intergrade? I think I am Inter thinking of Intergrade. Intergrade was like a DLC like sub chapter a with Yuffie, so it doesn't really count as a full game. Oh, okay. I know yeah. there was the Final Fantasy VII Remake mobile version all, that was also shut down. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. If mobile oh, games shit. keep getting shut down, wouldn't companies normally think, hey, this is not working. <laughs> you would think. Stop. I guess the short-term <laughs> profits for mobile games beats the, the cost of developing them. Dude. God Which, damn. I think it's a crappy practice at the end of the day. Oh, absolutely. Because what happens if someone in actually enjoys the mobile game and then it gets shut down and you can never touch the game again? Yeah, exactly. Games preservation is an important thing. Yeah. I mean, aren't we kind of going through that with Overwatch at this point? Like, people bought and paid for Overwatch 1. They released Overwatch 2 and stripped it of the content. So the other stuff that people bought that they have no access to. Yeah. Like, including skins, any, like, victory poses, emotes, etc. And it's just all gone into the void. Yeah, it's a real shame. Yep. And, like, just like with this Persona 5 mobile game, too, like, the designs of the new characters are really good, but they're just going to go down the tubes eventually because no one's going to keep playing the mobile game and spending hundreds on the gotchas. Yeah. Am I gonna fight this guy like a bitch? Yes. But it's worth it. That bitch. Although, I mean, there is some hope because like I I don't know I don't know if you guys care Brandon would care about um the Mega Man X mobile game. Um That one is shutting down as well. <laughs> oh my god. But but I I just heard him cry. <laughs> the developers are releasing an offline version, which is insanely cool. Okay. Cool. They already win. Yeah, that's like they, the correct they, way to do it. Yeah, give your fans something to, you know, to like uh, to still have, like preserve your game somehow. Exactly. Yeah, because I remember when Tales of the Rays, when it was shutting down, like all gotchas were free. Yeah. They could have just kept it. Yeah, just like let people just play offline. Yeah, exactly. Like make the gotchas free and then like you don't have to update the game. Just let people still play it. Right. There's already like tons of content in the game. There was. There was a lot to do. Oh, man, like they could have done that for like Luminaria. Because like that. They had, had like, so a... many characters in that one. Yeah. It was a game with 19 main characters. I think that's not even an exaggeration. Mario Kart has 25. <laughs> um, but, uh, that, that mobile game still going strong, Mario Kart Tour? Yeah, that's Oh, surprising. there's a big boy over there. I fucked up. Oh, fuck. 
<laughs> yep, yeah, nope, 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 nope. My mistake. My mistake, sir. Sorry. You don't have to chase me. Why is he still chasing me? They're all for blood. They're all oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay, we're good. We're good. You know what? I should probably just do main story stuff right now so I can get better stuff. You can get a lot of pretty good stuff just running around. Yeah, right. I'm just trying to find shrines would, and stuff. Yeah, I would say, yeah, just focus on, like, shrines and then upgrading your health and your stamina. Because it's four shrines to get one heart container. Yeah, Dragalia right? Loss is another one that deserves an offline mode. Yeah, so it's, many games. Uh, it's four uh, light blessings per, per upgrade. Yeah. Whether it's your health or your stamina. Yeah, there's so many mobile games, and like some of them are preserved by fans, but like you can't depend on fans being able to make a private server for every mobile game. I'm still amazed Pongia has a private server. It's because there's dedicated enough fans. Which is one of them is clearly <laughs> present in this room. <laughs> <laughs> What's if he's in here? Blink twice. <laughs> There's also Project Powder, which I think, I don't know if there's still any active private servers, but I still have the server files for that, too. So many good fun games. Yeah, that just get lost because online, like, if people just made just offline games that were good, like maybe online functionality, but like not requirement. True. Like, All right, boys, I'm going to start playing, too. All right. My belly is full. Goodness. Oh, Dragali Last does have private servers. Well, there you go. I think if a game is big enough, like, surely... Uh, well, and I guess if people can reverse engineer it. Because, like, there was, like, a sort of online mobile game that, uh, that people made private servers for as well. I still can't get over Crystoria. Crystoria needs private servers. I'm surprised they haven't figured that out yet. Such a good freaking the, concept for a story. The, yeah, I was about to say, the story was actually really refreshing take on the, on the franchise. Yeah, it's such a shame that they just didn't do anything with that. They they really didn't. Like, they're, same, they're, they're, just like they're just like, oh yeah, we're going to write the ending, but in manga. Yeah, same with, Lumen, same with Luminaria. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they released two chapters and just like, all right, we're shutting down. All right, that's it. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, no. They released Your also one here. episode of an anime. Which one? Uh... For Illuminaria. Oh yeah, I remember that. But the anime was like, was uh, like the same three D style as the game, which I guess right. made it fit. It made it work more like an in-game cutscene than an actual anime. Mm -hmm. It was like a really long in-game cutscene. So it was all like CG and stuff. Yeah. It wasn't bad. It looked great. Like the um, the Luminaria CG is really good. Nice. I think the anime is still up on Crunchyroll if you want to see it, but without the game, it's like just seeing... there's like yeah, there's no context. Right. <laughs> that game would have been perfect to release offline because like there was barely any online content in it to begin with. <sighs> there was like one co-op mode, and that was it. Like Jeez. everything else you played offline, you didn't even, they didn't have like the regular mobile game thing where it's like, you can invite a friend to your team or whatever to, um, to like help you out with like a mission. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Crystoria was too good to be a MOBA? Absolutely, Nera. It absolutely because deserved to be its own game. They went with the mindset of like, let's make a console game for mobiles, but then they should have stopped right there and be like, why can't we just make it on a, on a console game? <laughs> right, they're already making a console game. Why why add, why add tack on on mobile? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like this dude's probably going to one-hit me. But it's okay. You want to know why? Mama dead raise no bitch! Oh fuck! Okay, yeah, he can almost one hit me. All right, he she did raise a bitch in this case. Bitch.
Uh, what else is coming out soon? Spider Man. I'm literally really looking forward to Spider Man. The trailer for Spider Man Two is really good. Yeah, it, it was like, like they showcased a it was lot. Like, yeah, it was like 20 minutes of like pure gameplay. It wasn't even like cutscene. No, it's it's that cinematic where the transitions between cutscenes and gameplay is so it's like seamless, smooth. Yeah. yeah. A lot of games are doing that now, where the cutscenes transition to gameplay and vice versa. Yeah. Pretty well now. I guess because we have that technology now. Like, we can render cutscenes in real time. Right. I guess that didn't used to be possible on older consoles. The no, PS5 has, like, no so. loading times. Like, it's very minimal on PS5. Oh, dude. I'm, or I'm even if there are load times, but they're quick. Super quick. There's also nowadays developers using like techniques to get around it, like hiding loading times. Right, and uh, the old sorry, school, Nick, like, you're, about, you're about to uh, say something. I just, I'm so excited for Spider-Man 2 because, I, John, I know you played it, but Wes, mm -hmm. did you play the first Spider-Man? No, I still have to, and I haven't touched my, Miles Morales either. Uh, oh my, my god, Miles so Morales good. is just as good. Yeah, if not and, and Miles Mor I would say Miles Morales is better, but it's significantly shorter. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it's like the DLC, well. like, it's the dessert to the keeper. Oh my god, the tree is alive! Uh, oh yeah, that's a new kind of enemy. <laughs> <laughs> remember Fuck. when, uh... uh in the sound, remember in The Sound of Music when uh, they were singing The Hills Are Alive? Yes! <laughs> in this game, they meant it. You didn't tell me there was fucking Pseudo Wudo in this game! <laughs> <laughs> Do you have an axe? Uh... Probably not yet. <laughs> That's not even the right menu. That's not the right menu either. That's not the right menu either. Uh, no, I do not. Ooh. All right, me and this oh, Karak are about to take a trip. Um, Let's Spider Man go. 1 is legitimately probably one of the <laughs> best written games I've played in a long time and one of the few games that actually made me cry. Oh, it's fantastic. And it and just did Spider Man justice, dude. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. And then, and Miles Morales is just more Spider-Man. It's like more streamlined. And like, also like the main Spider-Man twist on everything. Yeah, yeah. No, Miles Morales does like a really great twist and it gives you something new. It's not just Spider-Man again. Well, that's good. Even the um story for Spider-Man, they took like they switched everything up on their own. Yeah, like, like the like the yeah, the video game universe for Spider-Man is actually like a different iteration. It's like Earth <laughs> forget what number it was <laughs> but it's like a different it's a different earth than earth prime just the worst part of it is that they switched peter's face <laughs> that was such a weird decision yeah it used to look like yuri lonthal's face but then they switched it to tom holland's face <laughs> i don't get the logic behind that i don't either that must have been like so much work for what like people did not like it <laughs> right i don't know if maybe like they were encouraged by somebody, or maybe it was some kind of executive decision. It was Either way, it's strange. Yeah, it was definitely like a really controversial decision. We live in strange times. Indeed. Look, I'm gonna break these pots out of Like, remember the power? Of what of the people when uh, they didn't like Sonic's face in the first live action film? Oh yeah, and then they yeah they changed it. And then they changed it due to so much outrage. Bullying the works, public. guys. <laughs> yeah, bullying works. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, at least on Spider-Man um, PC, and I think you might be able to do it on PS5 too if you have a way to patch it. Um, like one of the most popular mods in that game is to change Peter, Peter's face back. Wow. As it should be. But yeah, I mean, it, if if you have the time, Wes, uh, that is legitimately one of the best games of our of the last generation. It's a, it's not even that long to a hundred percent. No, and you lose. It's one of those games where they make it fun for you to do it. Like you just lose track of time. Yeah. It's just give you cool it's so work. satisfying to be Spider Man. All the cool costumes they give you too. Yeah. Oh, I got a shield. Holy fuck, that's the best shield I've got so far. All right. Let's go. I'd like to see God fight me now. 
Um, is there a shrine nearby? Na, 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 na. And there is not. Oh, and then we get the Pokemon DLC later this year. Thank God. I just oh, hope yeah. it's good and not janky. Oh, we know it's going to be janky. Yeah. But. Why would I expect anything more? <laughs> Scarlet and Violet were good, despite them being janky too. So I, I have some high hopes. Like the, the core gameplay, yes. Like it was very good. It was good for their first try at a completely open world game. Now they just need to make sure the DLC is like <gasps> nice and like meaty, you know. Nothing that could be finished in like an There's hour. There's two too. different expansions, just kind of how Sword and Shield did it. But the thing I don't appreciate is that they didn't spread them out like they did before. <clears throat> because both DLCs, time windows are like right next to each other. It's like, both, why couldn't both, have one both. been released like this summer? And then one in the winter. No, like both of them are like in the fall winter ish. I think. It's been a while since that announcement. Yeah. They de they deliberately made Sonic's design horrible to drive outrage. I I've heard that theory, but I find it a little hard to believe just because something like that would cost so much money and I don't know. I was thinking the same thing like why would they spend all that time and effort and money too? Yeah, just to then change it back like you can't possibly have enough budget to do that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't want to interrupt the conversation, but I did just lose another bike. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's okay, I'm fighting my first Yiga clan person now. <clears throat> nice. I'm back on my island. Oh bitch, he one tapped me. God damn it. Oh my god, everything in this game is fucking me up. Just back to shrines, I guess. Just back to shrines. Fuck. Maybe more pizza would solve my issues. Pizza's good. Yep. It, it cures my depression. Um. Uh. But yeah, the P3 remake looks really good, though. It does. Here, I'll be right back. Sure. Okay. I'm just not sure why they decided to recast everyone. That is a really strange decision, I, I, especially considering most of the voice actors are still available. Yeah. That that confused me, because I'm like, the, the actors are still around. Maybe they just wanted a fresh take on it, but that takes away from the nostalgia, which is, which is what the remake's goal is supposed to be. I guess? Hmm. I don't know, I guess... Uh, Not to knock off the new talent or anything, I'm just curious about why the change. It would be definitely really interesting to like see videos like comparing the two um, uh, performances. Yeah. Armored Core 6, anybody excited for that? Yes! I've never played an Armor Core game, but it's from FromSoft, and it's mechs, so fuck it, I'm ready. Armor Core as a series looks really good. It looks like fun. I think and it's from the fucking Dark Souls developers. Like, <laughs> what's not to love? Dying? Already dying inside, you know? What's a little bit more? A mecha Souls-like is actually a really cool idea. I don't think that's been done yet, right? No, but no. it's all going to be mission-based, so it's not going to be like open-world like all the other games. So this one's actually just confined to like a specific mission area, but I'm still interested because I think in the other ones, you could build every single aspect of your mech. That would be pretty cool. Yuri Lowenthal is probably busy with Spider-Man. That's fair. Spider-Man 2, there's probably like... I don't know how many hours of dialogue in that game. Well, he's certainly not busy with... uh. Persona 3 Reload. <laughs> well, that was no. that's the point that Nero was making, was that he's probably busy with something else. Oh, I didn't even see. Yeah, I was, just, I was mentioning that, like, they recast everyone. 
And I was wondering what the business decision behind that was. I, uh, I wonder who's going to play Koromaru, you know? <laughs> A different dog. <laughs> I did hear that every social link scene will be voiced now, so... That's That'll be cool. I just hope the new cast doesn't sound too jarring, because being in that game is already like high expectations, like probably to its fullest. Because because right. there's already some really good performances to begin with. Exactly. But uh, I heard that in Tartarus now that you can actually sprint and like collect items and break things, so you're like adding more to it. Yeah, it seems like it's it's like a remake, like from the ground up. Right? Yeah. I just heard the door. I don't know uh -oh. who's ringing at this hour. It's, it's me. me. <laughs> <laughs> Same brain cell. We're sharing it. Yep. We are two halves of an old idiot. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else? What else was announced recently? Kind of thing. There's so much. Uh, Mortal Kombat One. Oh, re oh, another remake. It's actually not a remake. Is it not? It's actually it's a or, reboot. It's more, it's more like a retelling. Yeah, like a reboot. Yeah. Uh, did they already reboot Mortal Kombat? Yeah, with al nine already. Yeah, and they called it just Mortal Kombat. Yeah. This one actually takes place after eleven, though. Like if you finish the story. <laughs> what? Something. So why not just there call was... it Mortal Kombat twelve? I have no because they call it one because it's it's like a new it's a new realm a new reality. Like yeah, the, the universe has been rewritten essentially. Oh, I see. So because like the, the fighter Kang, he pulled a Thanos. Yeah, Liu Kang attains godhood at the end of eleven, and so he uses uh, Kronika's hourglass to rewrite the timeline. So more, it's called one because it's a brand new timeline. Hmm. But uh, it looks it looks dope though. Like the combat looks a lot faster than. That's pretty cool. I mean, Mortal the, Kombat's kind of weapon. known more for its violence. But oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> could be a decent fighting game. Uh, what else? We we already talked a little bit about sixteen. Oh. I mean, we could just talk about like how. How are you guys enjoying Tears of the Kingdom compared to Breath of the Wild? I, I think I'm enjoying it a lot more. I feel like there's just more to explore. And, uh, yeah, it, it just it just feels like this is like a great expansion. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a sequel to Astro's Point. It's more like an expansion. Yeah, I've heard people say, like, Breath of the Breath of the Wild was just the demo for Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> Jesus, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> we. Oh, there's the. Uh... The new Sonic game, Sonic Superstars. Oh yeah, <laughs> Sonic actually, Four again. Yeah, I was like, wait. When I first saw the trailer, I was like, wait, is this Sonic Five? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's got multiplayer. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Maybe that would be a boy stream. If the multiplayer looks kind of like um, Super Mario, what was it, New Super Mario Brothers? Oh yeah. I mean, that would be kind of fun, really. Like, did they like, ever fully release four? I don't only, know. Only, Could, they only released in episodes one and two. That's yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. It was, it was never a, a full game. Right. It was supposed to be episodic, and just everybody hated it. Yeah, because it it didn't pay homage to the, to the original mechanics. Like the how the game felt and played was very different. So, and then everyone was mad. I mean, yeah, it's not a very good Sonic game, let alone a good game at all. It was okay. I just need to reboot I, I Sonic wouldn't... Fighters, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Or Sonic R. So a Sonic R remake. Sonic R R. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'll just be like more progressively more pirate sounding. <laughs> more R with each with each remake. Yeah. <laughs> A, a Sonic R remake would be awesome though, especially if it uses the Hedgehog engine. Can you imagine like going that fast, but against other people? It'd pretty much be like Sonic PvP. Like, <laughs> I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's any plans for a Sonic R remake. It's like a, such a cult classic. Oh, yeah. Or maybe there's enough, uh, enough, uh, you know, uh, clamor about it. Um, oh, speaking of party games, there was that one game that was announced, Party Animals, I think it was. It looked it, uncannily like Gang Beasts. I was about to say, like, it looks like a super adorable Gang Beasts. Yeah. Which, I, I don't know, is it the same developers? Maybe it is Gang Beasts, but with, like, just more cuteness. Like, they changed the aesthetic for it, it, the, I like the designs. It looks really cute. Mm -hmm. Gang Beast, yeah. I don't know if it's the same developers or if they just like ripped off Gang Beast. Um, oh, Payday 3. Yeah. Payday 3, another multiplayer game. I'm... We've yeah. never really played through a lot of Payday 2. We've played only a few times. I wonder if Payday 3, like, if they're gonna... I feel like Payday is one of those games where if you played it once, you've played it a hundred times. It's like that kind of game where you're just doing the same thing over and over. I think that's the kind of the point of the game, though. It oh, is, shit. Like, the no. gameplay loop is that you are planning a heist, so you have to like keep trying over and over again in order to like get it right. I just felt like it, it is fun. Don't get me wrong. I just felt like it gets too chaotic sometimes. Oh, yeah. It's like it or, definitely punishes you if you're just going in like running and gunning. Or the stealth mechanics are too like janky. Yeah, they don't work as they are intended to work. And then it makes it really easy to mess up. Yeah, yeah. And it's... then like once you mess up, it's like that's it. Like <laughs> you pay for it with your with just Life. endless waves of enemies until you finish the mission. Yeah. If you're able to. It's really punishing. It's really non-forgiving. Mm. Shoot more cops than these arrows. I I wonder if they're gonna in Payday Three if they're gonna streamline that more. Like. I hope they do. Like. Or like if they're gonna give you more tools to actually like stealth around. Like if they like if they actually give enemies like vision cones or something, like because if if the point of the game is stealth, then they need to give us more tools to actually stealth. Right. I guess we'll see. Yeah, definitely more tools to enforce the stealth. Because you can like you can blink and then everyone notices you. You can put a pinky toe into the room and they all notice you. Yeah. And Payday 2 already has like a ton of content, so... I wonder yeah. what they're gonna do for Payday 3. Probably more of what they usually do. Oh yeah, Metal Gear Solid 3 remake. Oh my god, that's gonna be amazing. Metal, Gear, Metal Solid Gear Solid Triangle. Del Delta? Yeah. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid Triangle? Yeah. Which I guess the triangle is like three, like three sides. Oh, it's like it's like a delta symbol. Yeah. Interesting. And they're also like re-releasing the first three Metal Gear Solids as well. They are. Yeah, it's in a collection. I buy them purchasing. I forget. Which they already did that before. <laughs> Time I'll to do buy it, again. it again. Yeah. Well, yeah. They had like the PS2 collection. Um, yeah. Like re re-release of Metal Gear Solid um, one, two, and three, I think. And then now they're doing it again, but for PS5. I don't know how many times they're going to re-release it. I hope they do something like Master Chief Collection where, like, they update Metal Gear Solid 1 with new new graphics or something, because that would look cool. 
Those, uh, those Metal Gear Solid 1 graphics, while still quite charming, have not aged well. No. But then again, they feed off of people's nostalgia. That's why P3 remakes it. That's true. Yeah, there's so many remakes and like not a lot of new original stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is some original stuff I saw in the uh, in those uh, game announcements, but uh, nothing yeah, that really. A lot, of in a lot of indie announcements too. Yeah, but nothing that really struck me as particularly like, like nothing that really stuck in my mind as like I'm hyped for it. Right. There were a ton of shooters, and I think it was in PlayStation's last presentation. I'm just like, okay, we get it. Yeah. Like, everyone loves their shooters. It's just that it doesn't help that they all look the same. Right. It's like, yeah, if like, you're going to make shooters, at least attempt, like, ex like, for the exception of, like, a few of them in the presentation, at least make them, like, look different, play different, like, not just guns a-blazing as they tend to look. Yeah, like... I, I think it was during, uh, uh, what was it, one of the games once they mentioned they had that new bungee shooter, uh, Marathon. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. And, like, the, the reception seemed quite lukewarm. Mm -hmm. Tons of shooters, high fantasy. Yeah, that seems to be the current trend, which is a shame. Yeah, a lot of like there were a lot of like Western style RPGs announced too, and they those looked very similar too. Yeah, it's like every company is just like trying to do what works, but not taking any risks. Right. But then we, all we get is generic games that nobody actually wants to play. And then they wonder why we don't play them. Right. It's like we did all the things that made all these other games a million dollars. How come we're not getting a million dollars? Because those Big other point, games took risks. Yeah, just make Fortnite. There are, wasn't there somebody that tried? There was a, a game that was announced that they tried to do that. Like, they're trying to be like the next Fortnite. I think. I mean, there was like that that Splatoon looking game. Oh, the Square Enix one that uh, Foam Star. That's it. That's it. Yeah. I mean, like Square Enix is trying so hard. Like desperately, even to be like, oh no, it's not Splatoon. It's uh, it's something different. It's like it's it's Splatoon. <laughs> it's Splatoon. It's so, so Splatoon. You just put a different coat of paint on it. Yeah, it's Splatoon, but with like Fortnite graphics to appeal to the kids. Yeah, something. Yeah, ever since Fortnite, people and like Genshin too. Like yeah, they, just, they always try to copy that one specific art style that worked for that particular company. Yeah, <laughs> but it doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. Right. <laughs> I just hate that trend. Like it. Yeah, it's because big companies just refuse to take risks. Yeah. The, like they don't understand that the reason those games worked is because they did something new. Mm-hmm. But if you only copy what's successful, then why then why would people go to yours when they can just go to the thing that was already successful? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Uh, apparently, we are getting a Star Ocean three remake, the, or a Star Ocean two remake, though. Yeah, which I'm because kind of hyped Square accidentally, accidentally leaked it. You know, these accidental leaks lately with like Persona three because that was quote unquote accidentally leaked on Instagram, and <laughs> yeah. then now Star Ocean two. Like, I don't think it's on accident anymore. They're no, just I, doing I, it to create hype and then claiming it as a as a leak or something just to make people more curious. I think the leak, the the quote unquote leaks, I think is like astroturfing, like. Um... Like, they, they, they say it's a leak, so it sounds more credible. Like, it sounds yeah. like, oh, it's coming from, like, some mysterious fan or whatever, and not, like, a corporate thing. Mm -hmm. It's coming because from when, inside the house. Yeah, because when there are, like, several leaks in a row, like, it's like, these are no longer leaks, dude. These are, <laughs> these are legitimate, like, announcements. You're just trying to get on that train of having it seem more secretive than it's supposed to be. Yeah. Oh, hi, Lowe's. Sorry for not... I haven't been looking at the chat recently, but hello. Hello. Welcome to the stream. We're just, uh, we're just shooting the shit right now. Yeah, I think he's been talking for a while, so that's why I feel bad. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. The year of the like 2000s the... come back. <laughs> yeah, all, all the 2000 games are being remade. Yeah, what? The companies just refuse to do anything new. They're just remaking stuff. 
Eventually we're gonna get like Resident yeah, Evil remake keep, remake. They, yeah, they keep feeding off of nostalgia, that's the thing. Yeah. But yeah, apparently, yeah. yeah. Resident Evil Zero will be remade again, <laughs> but with modern graphics, modern yeah. mechanics and stuff. Yeah. I look forward Finally, to uh, I can get an extra heart. Look forward to Let's some go. actually new stuff. Like I'm trying to think of what new stuff um was announced that might have been cool. Uh, this isn't new, but the Avatar game. I would be I would be excited for Exo Primal. It's like that futuristic kind of game where like dinosaurs open a portal to, to the future and you have to like kill them in waves with your like mechs and stuff. That is pretty cool. But uh I think it's all online. Like it's all like online like PvE stuff. Uh, yeah, that's another another thing. Everything's online only so that they can control DRM. A lot of yeah, a lot of drama with P th P3 reload because all the fans have like very specific questions about the game too, and the and the producers keep being cryptic because they can't probably by contract they can't really t say anything yet. <laughs> I'm surprised, like, all the voice actors were allowed to even announce that much information. That seems like NDA within itself, but right. the studios, like, I, apparently they got permission to announce the cast, even though there's no clips of them. Yeah, right. That makes me wonder, what's like, the, what's, what's the point of that, though? At what point of the production are they in that they've already had the cast that are able to announce themselves? The way they announced it, like... It seems like they got the roles and didn't record anything. Yet. Right, that's what I was. That's what I was feeling as well. Like they've just been cast, but they're not necessarily. Was um, it just for the accolades? Was it just for something else? Maybe. No, I guess it's to like get hype. It's a weird marketing strategy, but like, yeah, to get hype too. But the game doesn't come out till next year. Right. We're still in the summer of 2023. We still have a long way to go till. Like the hype's eventually gonna die down. Right, and then what? And then like, yeah, man, what's gonna happen? Exactly. I guess they'll pull some other marketing stunt to try to keep it relevant. Um. Yeah, let's see. Uh, the Avatar game looks kind of interesting. I guess the fact that they. Game? The Avatar, like James Cameron's Avatar. Oh, that one, yeah. Like, I, I guess the PS5 can finally render that kind of graphics. Which is cool. Um, god damn it, there's another big one over here. Ah! Alright, I'll scoot around. I'll sneak. I'll yeah, sneak. Nera has a good point, too. He mentions that, uh... We'll be getting... Like, this is, this is kind of a clever marketing strategy. According, like, especially with Persona 3, that, uh... With each real full moon, we'll get an update on the game. That would be cool. That would be clever. But there's only like 12 full moons. Yeah, there aren't that many. So, <laughs> so uh, like, like I said, I'll still, I'll still support it. I'll still play it. I like we're just with things I've been hearing how like they're not gonna dive into like the answer, not include fem MC and things like that. Pretty much taking content out of the experience raises a few eyebrows in my opinion yeah but i hope instead if they don't want to do that stuff which i think they're leaning towards not doing any of that stuff they expand on what's already there yeah yeah i mean that's ideally what you would do in a sequel because in the males male protagonist route you don't really interact with your home much like Akihiko, Junpei, and uh, Shinji, and Ken, like, you don't really hang out with them as much as you do with, like, all the girls and stuff, and, like, the other social ones. So I think they were going to try to do something with that. That would be cool. Or at least, like, like not really social links, but, like, maybe events where you go and hang out with the dudes sometimes and do something fun. Whatever. Hanging with the boys. Exactly. Maybe, maybe romance? Potentially. <laughs> I'm not I mean, sure. It's, it's 2023. That's true. 
Like, that would be a viable some... option. I'm just that's up to the company though, so I can't yeah. confirm or deny anything or DLCs maybe. Yeah, I think like, Japan is still a little uh, conservative in that respect. They are like it's always uh, is sensitive topic a right phrase for that for I, them I or is it say so? Yeah, because when people ask about like oh like can we have um like, you know like same sex like like relationships in persona games or whatever and they seem a little apprehensive when they attempt to answer those questions yeah so i don't know like you know we'll see what happens yeah i guess we'll see the game takes place in 2008 that's fair i guess yeah it isn't like like uh e even in the remake like the students are still using flip phones so it's like it's That's, still like that era. I'm kind of glad they preserved that. I mean, like I think it's good to preserve timelines, like when it's, uh, well, like if they can is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I guess in conclusion, P3 remake. It looks really good. I'm I'm gonna go in there with a clear conscience though, but like a good portion of me is is gonna have that nostalgia in me because I played P3, P3, FES, and P3P. I played all the P3s that have ever released into the states. There'll be one so, more P3 to play. Yeah, exactly. I just want it to be good. I just want it to be good. That's I, that's bottom line. It seems like they're at least putting in an actual budget for for right. this. So. Like, like from the trailers you can tell that it's graphically enhanced like the not just like the character models but like the environments the the ui and yeah like um, visually it looks like a great update mm -hmm. like they took all like the out like the ui design elements that they learned from uh from like p5 because p5 has right. like a strikingly clean ui that's what they said in an interview actually that like P5 is kind of like the staple of what they're going to do moving forward with like future titles. I mean that's that's definitely a good thing cuz P5 like just like op like operating wise like it's really nice the fact that you can get through the most menus through a single button press and like like it's it's fairly streamlined which is which is cool. Yeah, everything is really quick. In Persona 5, like yeah, even, it, even even the combat system is even faster than yeah. like, than the other games, yeah, I, and we probably wouldn't thought that possible up until think, now. Right. Think. Come to me. I am waiting. Oh, I accidentally wandered into Hyrule Castle. Oh boy. I'm not gonna rescue Zelda yet. I'm just here for the shrine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Zelda. Hold on a second. Hold on, I gotta do this shrine. Hmm. Let's see, what else was released or announced recently? No Chop. new Mario game in like the last like three years, I think, has been announced. That's pretty. I wonder if they're if they're waiting for like something to do with um maybe the Mario movie or something. Maybe. Mario the movie, the game. It would be that, a, that would be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> a video game based on a movie that was based on a video game. My head hurts. <laughs> Um, let's see, what else? Another Lord of the Rings game. Uh, Fable. Oh yeah, Fable, Fable 4, but not developed by Lionhead Studios. Which is weird. That makes me wonder if Peter Molyneux is even involved. The map yeah. It's being developed by the Forza developers. Like Forza Motorsport, like the yeah. racing game. Yeah. That's weird. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> I guess they were the 
best developer, or at least they were the developer that was available. That... Because I think it's still Microsoft Game Studios, but then, like... But I think that's just for, like, publishing. That is so weird to me, that their first thought to developing a role-playing game was to reach out to the devs who make racing games. <laughs> yeah, definitely a weird decision. It doesn't make sense. I wonder, I wonder though, because like with Fable, like Fable always had like really high ambitions. Yes. Um, stifled by just like the limitations of technology. Um, but now that technology has improved vastly, like I wonder if like a lot of Peter Molyneux's original vision is now possible. That said, likely. <laughs> the, the main issue I guess wouldn't be whether it's possible, it would be whether it's good. Yeah. Because, like, he, like, we, like, he, I think the original vision for Fable was, like, he promised like, a super immersive and expansive, um, like, RPG world. Um, but, uh, but, I don't know how much people would actually enjoy that. I guess people like Breath of the Wild, but I think there's a lot of other design decisions that make Breath of the Wild that good. Like, being able to, like, talk to and talk to any NPC and have them have, like, a full conversation sounds like a cool idea. Yeah. But, like, who really talks to every NPC and has a full conversation? The completionists, I guess. Maybe or, it may or the completionist himself, you know. Exactly. <laughs> maybe if they uh maybe if they use like new AI technology, they could like generate NPCs that would have like entire lives to tell you. Probably. I wonder if it's if it's gonna be that intricate this time around. I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt. Because that seems like something they would do for Fable. Like they always like try to do something kind of new. Push, push right. the envelope. And they haven't had a Fable game in like... Yeah, Fable 3 came out in like, what, 2010 or I, something? Yeah, I was a freshman in high school, I think. <laughs> so, Jeez. more than 10 years ago. Dang. That is crazy to think about. What, that we're fucking old now? <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of interested in Fable just because I kind of like the games. Kind of ironically, like, they're really fun to just do dumb stuff in. Because the consequences yeah. for doing dumb stuff actually feels like consequences. Yeah, yeah. like, you know, catching an STD. <laughs> exactly. It feels like you're actually role-playing. I heard the, uh, main, the main design choice for the main character is kind of it's kind of uh, excuse me uh not really going well with the fan base mm. for some reason i wonder if they're going to change it before then because i think they didn't announce a date for fable 4 right they just announced that no it was a they thing. just show yeah. yeah so you know what else looks good though metaphor oh yeah that that's uh Another is it, is it an SMT game? Because it, like it looks like one. It's the Project Re Fantasy that they were working on for like so many years. Oh, it looks uh, interesting. <laughs> it looks yeah, really it, trippy. It does, yeah, and like even like the the Battle Command manuals, like it's so Persona. They just reuse the asset. Yeah, it's it it's like Persona, but with a different outfit. with a fantasy feel. Yeah. yeah. Which, I mean, cool, but it's still got like that trippy Persona vibe too, which is also really cool. It was, it's SMT4, but if they lost their IP, ouch. <laughs> it looks cool though. I'm it like, does. I gotta deny that. I think like they've always wanted to make like a more like a traditional high fantasy game for a while and they just couldn't do it until recently. Yeah. 
I don't know, man. I mean, Tokyo Mirage Sessions is pretty fantastical. You know what that game was supposed to be? This. That was that was Fire no, Emblem it was, X. No, it was supposed to be Fire Emblem Cross SMT. Yeah. Instead, we get the most like J like J Star like poppy like high school nonsense that I've seen. Ever. Yeah, it's like a fanfic. Like, exactly. Like if you. Ah, oh, these hiccups, man. Like if you took every stereotype into a JRPG and put it into one game. <laughs> it's like the high school eight like ultimate universe of. Uh, Fire Emblem and Persona. <laughs> well, not Persona, like I hear, um, s &T. Like, to be fair, I heard, I heard it's a solid game, but it's not what I want. It's not, like, what I was originally thinking it was going to be. Right. I played through the first <laughs> chapter, and I was like, okay, this is pretty good. And then I, mean, I just, even so the, much other stuff came out. Even the name Tokyo Mirage Sessions has TMS, backwards as s &T. Right. Is it a conspiracy? Probably. No, I'm pretty sure that's that's actually like the meaning behind that name. Or is it? Oh no. Oh, dang it. I was just hoping if it was if it was gonna be like SMT characters meeting Fire Emblem characters and they all like in like it would combine mechanics together like it would have the the battle grid of Fire Emblem, and then when you go into an encounter and play like SMT, like that would have yeah, been awesome. Yeah, that would have been awesome. Did anyone here buy Fire Emblem Engage, actually? No. Because I just realized, like, yesterday, I was like, oh, we had a Fire Emblem come out this year. I, I think we have Fire Emblem Engage. I wanted to get it, and then for some reason, I just didn't think to. Exactly, same. I was like, eh, all right, I'll get it, and then I just never did. It just didn't happen. I heard it's okay. It's solid. I game. heard it. I, I heard it wasn't the best game. Yeah, I think Vegenot spot it for us. <laughs> well, now, you, well, now you, you probably should play it in that game. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think Aura has been playing it. Okay. <laughs> she she plays it offline. I might play it on stream. I just remember like when they did Fates and they were like, "Hey, here's these two games that form a complete story." And then they're like, just kidding, there's going to be a third one now. And the third one's going to be the final chapter. Fates was a disaster. Like, I, I wish it was better because it was trying to use Awakening's success to make it a better game. Awakening was so good. Awakening was the best. Dude, that game single-handedly, like saved I'm not even it. Jo joking, it single-handedly saved the entire franchise. Because... I heard that game was, like, if Awakening did not do well, they would have stopped making Fire Emblem games entirely. That's pretty rough. That's high expectations. So, back to your point, John, uh, Astra. <laughs> Taking risks. Yeah, exactly. It saved the franchise. They gotta try something new, because if they just stagnate, nobody's gonna buy the new thing, and they can just play the old thing. Yeah, exactly. I think a lot of companies forget that. Yeah, it's such a great story, and the charm of, in it is just, it's endless. It's so good. They should remake that. <laughs> they should. <laughs> as long as we're talking about remakes. I wouldn't mind seeing, like, a remake of the first Fire Emblem, especially since I don't think it ever actually came out in... Um, in the States. What if we get a remake of the GameCube ones that had Ike? That would be cool. Because those ones are like super hard to come by now and because of uh, how long ago they came out, you'll have to pay like $150 to get a copy. They do have, um... Can you just like they emulate do... them? Oh yeah, they, I'm sure you They could. do have, um... The first couple of Fire Emblem games. Uh, I think they're on Nintendo Switch Online. Oh, right. But, um, they're... I think they're like, Japanese, they're not, they're, right? Yeah, they're not, like, re... I think they're in English. Oh, are they're they? just, like, they're not graphically different. They're just, like, ported, I guess. Right. 
but it's something. Fire Emblem Legacy Collection would be really cool. It would be. Like, Did you ever buy that Mega Man one that came out? Not yet. Even if I did, I wouldn't have time to play it. Once again, I don't think this is supposed to work like this. But fuck it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just built a bridge all the way up there. Bro, look at how janky this fucking bridge is. <laughs> I think that's how I did it too, actually. Oh my god. Hey, if it works, it works. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I'm not Bob the Builder or Fix your, It. Your, cre your creation can be smart, it can be stupid, as long as it, as long as it works, you know? Wes, what if I turn that into like a flying helicopter with some fans? <laughs> You could. Just violate the Geneva Convention. So attach lasers to it. Like, is that a dragon flying through the sky? No, it's me, bitch. It was me, Dio. Dude. Oh, speaking uh, yeah, we got a new JoJo's Bizarre Adventure game that came out this year. I think. Oh, yeah. That one wasn't announced, though, was it? And oh, a new just... JoJo's part. So let's go. I haven't really followed the JoJo series. So fucking good. It is so good. They announced a Grand Blue game, which is kind of cool. Did that Grand Blue action RPG ever come out? I think the uh, game they announced is the game that <laughs> that you're talking about. <laughs> I think it's coming out next year. Yeah. The one was that announced back in like 2018, 2017. Yes. It was. It's Something. been it's been in development hell because like I think it was raised developed by CyberConnect. Yeah, and then and then it was like transferred to platinum, and then I think now it's back to Psy. I think I think that game's just been in development. Cause I remember seeing that game at Anime Expo. Yeah, I remember thinking it was like really that's cool. how that's how old it was. And last time I was at Anime Expo was uh, I hung out with you, Astra. Remember? Yeah, I remember that. That was several years ago. Oh. Announced 2016. I believe it. Uh, yeah, I, I always like the Grand Blue designs. Yeah, have Grand have Blue versus. Yeah. That was actually pretty solid from what I remember. And then just nothing. Was there supposed to be? I know there was a Grand Blue anime and then Versus. Was there anything else? I mean, like it, it, all, it, it all stems from the mobile game. Like, the mobile game is the thing that came first. Oh. And then everything is a spin off of that. I think the mobile game, it's nothing really that special. The, the, most, the most special thing about it is that you can play in a browser. Hmm. Um. Yeah, so uh, so I guess like yeah, because you so you don't need like a phone to play it, which is neat. Uh, but other than that, it is like a pretty standard mobile game. There's no way I actually make this. There's no way I actually make this. Let's go! Ah, let's go! There better be something here. Metaphor Fantasia. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about um well about metaphor. Um uh just a couple minutes ago. I, that game's gonna be fucking amazing. It's gonna be cool for sure. Yeah. If there's one thing Atlas consistently does aside from uh let us down when it comes to their release dates, it's their menus. And the menus in Metaphor look beautiful. Yeah, at least they're trying something at least kind of new. Grand Blue just needs an arrow game, then it can be the Fate franchise. I mean, the Grand Blue characters are very cute. 
It would make a pretty good arrow game. Have we not had like a major fate game on a like big three platform? I think we. I don't remember. We had Fate Estella or Estrella on the PSP. Yeah. And then Fate Link or something like that. I don't know, but nothing on like the PS5, I think, or Xbox or Switch. Maybe Switch was uh, Fate Estella, Estrella, whatever it is. Yeah, I get that is surprising. I mean, I mean, Fate like the main series is just a visual novel. I guess you can put a visual novel on a PS5. You can. I mean, they did with Digimon Survive. <laughs> That's true. That game was in development hell for several years, and then people didn't like it because it was it was uh, too visual novel. Novel E. I mean, the, the U.S. audience is definitely not the audience for visual novels, unfortunately. No. Hey, those Danganronpa games, though. That's true. Those are also visual novels. Fucking amazing visual novels, too. We need more Danganronpa. I wouldn't mind seeing some more Danganronpa. I still need to finish three, though. Let's see, what else was announced? Ghost Runner kind of looks cool. That's a new IP, I think. No, wait, it's Ghost Runner 2. Let's see. I'm looking at like a list. Let's see. Hollow Knight. Uh, Hades 2. That, that would be exciting, Hades. I don't know if you guys have ever played that. Oh, cool. I got a new shirt. No, I haven't touched Hades. I heard it's really good, though. I'm just not a fan of, to of uh, top-down games. Uh, yeah. Hades is really good. It's just fucking difficult. Well, it's a roguelike. Yeah. Ace Attorney? Oh, like yeah, Ace Attorney is also a visual novel, yeah. I guess visual novels do kind of work, but I think they need something besides just story. Or I guess just a really good story. That reminds me, there was, um, Silent Hill... Was it Silent Hill? Silent Hill 2 remake, yeah. Yeah, but there was something else I was thinking of. The, the, I think it was a Silent Hill, but it was, it was like written by the guy who did Higurashi. Yes, yes. Which one was that? Was that Silent Hill 2? No, there's so, right? another one. There's another one. Uh, it's like, I know what you're talking about though, but it looks fucking amazing too. Yeah, I think it was called, it was like Silent Hill. I don't remember. Why it it's not like a weird title. Challenge. Oh, you're at the skydiving challenge. That gives you a really Fuck, good, it. It gives you a really it. good equipment. If you put it on, like you can get a lot more mobility while skydiving. It's really cool. Oh, you just remind me. I literally just got a shirt from that, so I should probably wear that. You should. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, Skull and Bones. That's like Sea of Thieves, but more, more realistic. Yeah. I'm kind of not looking forward to Skull and Bones anymore. Because, like, when they announced it... Because, like, you know, Sea of Thieves is, like... Um, is very, uh, um, like, PvP-focused. Right. Um, and when Skull and Bones was announced, it was supposed to be, like, more exploration-focused. But I think the recent announcement was, like, there it's going to be PvP. <laughs> Which is... Oh, yeah, they did show more Sea of Thieves recently. Yeah. Yeah, see if these are still going. I think they're going to like season 9 or 10 now, I think. Oh, there's new Prince of Persia. Oh, yeah. The the new... There's the new Prince of Persia, also like the Prince of Persia remake. It's uh, a remake, I think... Well, I, it's a... Uh, it's paying homage to the first game, which was like a 2D platforming action game. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, it doesn't really look like Prince of Persia, though. 
No, it looks more like a 2D Delta Prime. <laughs> yeah. Like, the main character looks like so, like, hip and like. Looks like a Fortnite character. A lot. And also, speaking of hip, though, um, a lot of the trailers keep using hip hop. Oh, the yeah. Games, and yeah, like the rap. The ha yeah, the rap, the hip hop rap and stuff. And half the time it doesn't fit what's on screen. No, it's just like. They're using it for the trendy music. Yeah. And it's like not at all representative of the game. And it's. Yeah, yeah, it's awful. It's pretty bad. Movie trailers are doing that now, too. Yeah. Like the trailer for Blue Beetle, I think. Okay, that one was good, though. That... that one does look good, but I don't know if that song is going to be in the uh, in the actual movie. Probably not. Or maybe it will be, who knows. I suspect it probably won't. Astro, you're a genius. Oh my god. What? I was like, man, why can't I do this challenge? I keep getting the or 21 seconds. I put on the piece of clothes or the piece of clothing that I got from beating it the first time, and I got 17 seconds. Yeah. Once you get the full set, it's like your maneuverability increases dramatically. It's really cool. Understood. Your name is Link. There's a reason I love the glide set. Is there a reason? I just like it. <laughs> I believe I can. Ooh, gotcha! Let's go. Oh, nice! You found a gotcha machine. How many charges do I use? Holy shit. This was announced. Oh, Dungeons of Hintenberg. Hinterberg. That game actually looks really cool. I kind of want to play Dungeons of Hinterberg. I still can get over Liza P, dude. Like, that just makes me want to go back to Bloodborne now. Time to play it again. Yeah, now that you guys made me bust out my capture card. <laughs> Time to start your streaming career. Yeah, Let's and it's available go. on uh, PS5 Classics, or PS5's online service. So if you wanted to try it, Wes, it's right there for you. Oh, uh, Bloodborne? Yeah. It's not 60 FPS, unfortunately, but still good. Yeah, I can give or take 60 FPS, but as long as the game's good. Yeah. That with uh, one of the hardest DLC bosses I've ever faced before. This NPC, I swear, I'm gonna gut this guy. <laughs> so hard. Because I'm trying to help him with his mission, but he keeps getting too picky with the me game's mechanics. Oh, wait, wait, which NPC are you interacting with? Uh, Sasan? Oh, that guy. Yeah, I have to use the boat to get to his friend, and I've already been over, but I have to take him on his dumb boat. Have you? Did but, you do any of the great fairy? Um, great fairy. But quests? you, but you can't, you can't rotate the boat. You can't put the boat too heavily in the water or anything. He's like, oh no, I'm gonna drown, or no, I, I'm gonna fall out. It's, dude, just not though. <laughs> You'll be fine. Yeah, like that. If I just put him, like, if he gets hit with water, he's like, oh, I'm gonna sink! <laughs> just a little water, dude. And then it, it makes me restart the whole thing. I'm just like, hmm. Yeah, did you, did you do any of the, the great fairy quests where you have to, like, escort the, uh, 
the musicians? Nope. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's basically like a Korok quest, but way more annoying. Uh, see, this game was too good to be true. They had to have someone quest in here somewhere. <laughs> I mean, it is interesting in interacting with the NPCs. Right. I just don't know how else to put this bastard in the water without him complaining. Uh. Oh, there we go. All right, that's a start. Ah, uh, JBN, thank you so much for uh, for uh, resubscribing. Thank you so much for being a wonderful community. Well, we're glad well, you're part of that wonderful community. Where's the last... The last thing. I want my Zoanite sword! Ah! What else is on this list? Um, oh yeah, oh, I already talked about Dungeons of Pinterberg. Uh Let's see. We we talked about the Final Fantasy VII remake already, right? Yeah, a little, a little bit. There's Final and Fantasy VII little... Rebirth, and then Final Fantasy VII. Oh, that 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 was the part two, yeah. Yeah, Rebirth is part two of the uh, trilogy. There's Starfield, which I'm really looking forward to, um, from the Fallout developers, I believe, or the, do you see the Fallout or uh, Elder Scrolls developers? I can't remember off the top of my head. It's been way too long. Um, there's there's also another Elder Scrolls, isn't there? Yes, but we don't know when that one's going to come out, unfortunately, and given that they've been pretty much radio silent. I wouldn't anticipate hearing anything anytime soon, sadly. Let's see, what else? There's more Yakuza games coming out. Let's go! I think there's like two Yakuza games. I think there's, it's Like a Dragon, but then there's also another like actual mainline Yakuza game. Uh, Ishin, like Dragon I think it's like, the... it's like yeah, Dragon it's like, Ishin, just yeah. like a just like a sam it's like a sam oh that one already came out oh did it oh it did yeah like a dragon is the new mainline series now oh, okay which like... is cool because I like the JRPG style yeah it's neat Baldur's Gate three yeah Baldur's Gate um. There's another Star Wars game that was announced, I think. Here's one that came out of left field. Uh, Super Bomberman R2. Oh. <laughs> I did not think the the first Bomberman R did well enough for that was, to warrant that, a sequel. That was the N64 one, right? No, no there was there's one for the Switch. Oh, or that's it, right. Or that it got premiered like, on the Switch. Yeah. They supported it with DLC to like an insane degree. Like every Konami franchise imaginable, there was a character inside that game. Yeah, now they have a sequel. That's kind of cool. I haven't, I haven't played it yet, but that sounds like fun. It yeah, my my girlfriend and I would play that, and she would make me hate my life. <laughs> that could be a boy stream, Bomberman. Oh yeah, or I it might think... also end our friendships worse than Mario Party. <laughs> I don't think the first one's online, but I know the second one will be. Okay, well then that sounds like we got to do that. Or you can all come to my house again. I'm down. As long as there's garlic knots involved. <laughs> oh, we can absolutely... I'm pretty sure there will be. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, when you guys come over, we're definitely going to Bellas. And then we can see if that uh, ice cream shop's open again. Oh, it is. It is. It reopened uh, uh, a couple months ago. Let's go. Did we ever figure out why they were closed? New management. Oh. Like, all the old people just left. Did we talk about the MGS3 remake? We did. A little bit. That is going to be interesting considering you can use uh, in the original MGS3 you can use the PS2's time clock and change the clock on the console itself to beat a particular boss in there. Right. And I wonder how they're going to... can't do that. Yeah, because everything's online now. 
Um, but yeah, also J- like, Jibin, if you want to hear our opinions on any of the games again, feel free to ask. We've been just talking about games all night. I kind of want to see if they're actually going to do it justice, especially without Kojima there. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, because he also, made that game originally. Death Stranding 2, dude. But I oh, did yeah. Hear, I did hear for... Uh, sorry, one final thought for MG. Metal Gear Solid 3, Delta. They're getting the cast back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I heard that as well. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Poor Keanu Reeves. <laughs> or whatever. Wait, no, it was... Uh... Kiefer David. Sutherland. Wait, who are you talking about? So, uh, David Hayter didn't come back as Snake for MGS5. It was uh, Kiefer Sutherland. Oh, okay. From 24. Hmm. I don't know why it's a Keanu Reeves. I, I'm a little Keanu brain. Reeves is in everything nowadays. He is. Because what's that game he's in right now? Uh... It's me. Damn it, it was like that cyber no, cyberpunk? cyberpunk. Was the, it cyberpunk? I don't know. There was a new cyberpunk announced as well. Yeah, the DLC yeah. Phantom Liberty where they've like remade pretty much everything involving the game. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Nero, that game gets his cast back, but not P3. <laughs> so can we all sorry. Just get like sorry, a modern... I'm, I'm bitter, okay? Can we just get a modern fucking version of P1 and 2, please, that's not on the Vita? And that would with, be neat. See, I would take it with enhanced visuals and mechanics. I wouldn't even take... I'll just take a port. I don't even give a shit at yeah, this point. Yeah, Persona, Leg- Persona Legacy Collection. Every every other game company or game franchise is doing Legacy Collection. Why not? <laughs> I found a pair of testicles. Nice. You did. That's nuts, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is out of place, though. Get out of my balls. Oh, all right. Well, nothing changed. Oh, wait. No, it's Yeah, Nair and I can be bitter together, so it's all right. <laughs> I'll still support it. I'll still support it. So I have to keep telling myself. <clears throat> well, let's go back to the list. No, Nira, don't you say that. Don't you say that, Nira. We acknowledge P1 and 2 in this household. You know what's funny? In the trailer for, um, what's the, uh, fantasy RPG by Atlas that the... Metaphor? Metaphor, yeah. Metaphor, Metaphor Fantasia yeah. or whatever. They said from the creators of Persona 3, Persona 4, Persona 5, not the Persona series. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like they're only acknowledging 3, 4, and 5. Because those are the money makers. Oh, here's something that got announced but doesn't have a specific release date. The Botan Kaidos 1 and 2 HD remasters. Oh, that oh would yeah, be cool. we never got a release date. Did Botan Kaidos is getting a remaster. Why the fuck can Persona 1 and 2 not? Wait, it's on once, the PlayStation Classic? Because for, because for once, uh, Bandai Namco made a good decision. I want to so play the original Bot Kites because it looks good. It was like a turn based card. Yeah, it was a card dialing system. Yeah. But I'm it just looks surprised cool. it, I'm just surprised it's getting a re, like a remaster collection on the two games. Right? I can't believe both of them are getting an HD remaster. But also, Suikoden is, so you know what? I'll take it. Yep. What that Sweet in one and two remake or remaster is going to be amazing. Let's see what else. I kind of hope they make like they do um, like a Dragon Guard remaster. I think those games deserve to be brought into modern modern age. Especially since Nier Nier is so um, no so popular. I don't think I've played a Dragon Guard game ever. It was like the thing that Nier spun off from. Oh. Let's see what else. Dragon Age, there was a. I don't know if it was a sequel or what uh, announced for that. Everwild, that, that game by, uh, by Rare, that kind of looks good. 
I wonder if Everwild is going to be um, multiplayer. Or if they're just doing like the whole open world thing. I don't know. Because Rare, Rare right now is like basically the only thing they're working on a Sea of Thieves. Yeah, that does. That doesn't surprise me. We should play Sea of Thieves again. That would be fun. You know what would actually mind. be hilarious if it had a multiplayer option, especially for the four of us? What? What? As much of a meme as it became, Nuts and Bolts would actually make a really good boy stream if it was online. Oh, Banjo Kazooie? Yeah. Just with the insane concoctions we would all come up with, <laughs> it'd just be like wacky race. As soon as somebody makes a multiplayer mod of this game, there's gonna be like Zonai races. Yeah. It's gonna be a Zonai Derby. I still can't believe that. I heard that as Zonai Derby. <laughs> I still can't believe that multiplayer Breath of the Wire Breath of the Wild mod actually worked. Yeah, I wanna play it with you guys. That would be super fun. That would be we all die together. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because I this is the Dark Elden Souls of Legend guys. of Zelda. <laughs> game I hate, reviewers. I hate, yeah, game reviewers in a nutshell. This is the Dark Souls of such and such. I'm like, like, uh, those reviewers cannot be taken seriously. Honey. Yeah, I mean, before just Dark like just like criticizing a game because it looks too like, it, like that point's not valid anymore. Right. <laughs> Newsflash: People actually like anime. Yeah, exactly. It's more. It's a lot more mainstream than it was. Like, like even like 10 years ago yeah you can tell like a lot of those reviewers are just like old crotchety dudes yeah they're Dude, like now still even stuck gym in gear 90s. is being integrated with the anime stuff like people are coming up with like jujitsu uh jujitsu kaisen collaborations like people come in with black clover gym gear now that's pretty cool you want to know a really weird collab that i still think is really uh, strange to me but what? what uh genshin impact had um alloy from uh from uh, uh from Horizon. Yeah, that is really weird. Like, she wasn't even a good character in uh, in Genshin. I think she's a fine character in Horizon. Ah. Uh, uh, but yeah, her character in Genshin is like totally useless. <laughs> like her, like seeing that model like in totally in totally in, like the anime. Yeah, it looks. It does. It barely looks like a Aloy at all. Mm -hmm. Go for another Ratchet and Clank game. Didn't I... one just come out a few years ago? A few years ago, yeah. I need uh, more, Wes. I need like more. A rift, a, a rift in time, I think it was. It was Rift Apart. Oh, Rift Apart with the uh, the female Lost character too. Yeah. yeah. People were so. They always do. I mean, people are. Uh, Yes. People are unique things, you know? <laughs> yes, they are. Why is the moon moving like that? That's weird. The moon moves really fast in this game for some reason. The day-night cycle is really strange in this. It literally just looks like a JPEG of like a half moon. You know what? Floating. It probably is. <laughs> Look at my screen, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing it there. Imagine if in like, the next game, like they gave you the option to actually like... go to the moon. Or they bring back the evil moon. The Legend oh. of Zelda and Walk. <laughs> just build a Zonai, <laughs> build a Zonai device to go to the moon. Yeah, you have to build a rocket ship out of Zonai materials. <laughs> Fuck NASA! Oh, there's also Hollow Knight Silk Song, which will hopefully come out this year. Yeah, Hol uh, Hollow Knight, that's pretty cool. Good. 
uh, what else is coming out? Or announced? Oh, Wolverine? The Wolverine game? Ooh, that looks good. It does. Oh, we haven't had any game with that trailer look good. I'm hoping, because it's Insomniac, isn't it? Yeah. So, I mean, they did Spider-Man really well, so I think you can hope that um, Wolverine will be just as good. I, uh, open. I want news on a Ghost of Tsushima sequel. Sam, that game was awesome, dude. So fucking good. Freaking depressing, but it was good. Tower of Fantasy is going console? Yeah. Who cares about Tower of Fantasy, though? That's... You mean Genshin 2? Yeah. No, it's Genshin knockoff. It's the ironically Chinese cheap knockoff of like, I, Genshin. I, I, I played it, and like my game. friends were like, yeah, let's all play together. It's multiplayer. It's like, okay, when does it become multiplayer? I was like, oh, yes, several chapters in, and I'm like, no, okay? It's, yeah, <laughs> it's not even that good. <laughs> Because I, I played a little bit of it. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. But definitely not something to really stick around. Yeah. And then, like... Yeah, my friends told me, told me that uh, it was going to be multiplayer until you, you reach a certain point after I've been playing it for several hours. I'm just like, guys. <laughs> yeah. Don't do this. I mean, the multiplayer is just literally walking around in the same world. Like, you barely even work together or anything. You remember when we all tried playing PlayStation Home? I do remember that. That was some good times. It was basically just like VR chat before VR. PS3 games, yeah. I, I vaguely remember that. I remember the Avatar system being like really, really in-depth. Mm-hmm. And then at some point they just shut it down as well. I, I don't think many people played no, it. No. <laughs> It was, I think they were trying to make it like the next Second Life where they were going to host like real events and, and do promos and stuff in there. Um, yeah. Because like I remember like they gave out like t-shirts for your avatars of like new new game releases that are coming out as like promotional items. Yeah. Um, but it was like, why, why did you want a virtual t-shirt that like nobody's going to see? Yeah, I'm really late on that. I think there is like a um there's there was like an effort to preserve it. Um I think there is like a private server basically. Um for for um PlayStation Home. Excuse me. <laughs> Um, what else? There was that, like, Akira Toriyama uh, RPG announced, wasn't there? Was there? I think so. Soul Sandland? Oh, yeah, it's based on one of his early manga works, yeah. It's also getting a movie. Which is, is weird, because that property is, like, I think from, like, the... Someone could correct me. Isn't that from, like, the fucking... 80s? I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. I'm guessing that no! we got so close. <laughs> it's okay. The uh, the uh, items respawn in the uh, in the shrines. Uh, I'm guessing they're probably just like trying to milk Toriyama of all his work. Just keep having him do Dragon Quest, dude. Like pump out Dragon <laughs> Quest 12. I mean, yeah, might as well. Oh, Silent Hill F. That was the one that we were thinking of earlier. Oh. The, the one that's like written by the Higurashi writer. I wish the Zelda radar or the uh, shrine radar. In Tears of the Kingdom worked a lot better. <laughs> yeah. 
It's uh, it's so limited in range. Yeah, because you it only activates when you see it, or like when you're like right near it. I'm just like, can it activate like when it's far away, so I can start heading in an ideal location? Oh yeah, uh, Astra, didn't you say? There was something for me to do in uh, Terrytown. Yes, um, there's a uh, there's a, one of those gacha machines that gives um, rockets and yeah, cause, wheels and stuff. Yeah, because I'm in there now. Uh, it's on like the lower part of Terrytown, like the part below it. If you take like oh. the rail. Oh, I am doing. I am seeing. It's okay. Oh, this guy's got a. Shrine crystal, and he's gonna make me. He's gonna make you pay for it. Yeah. May as well do his quest. And now I'm depressed. Yeah. See what else was announced? Silent Hill Townfall. What? Damn it! I can't get the stupid thing. I feel like I'm barely missing it too. Witcher 4. Let's go! More Netflix s stuff with it, too, I think. Yeah, because they ran Henry Cavill out of the freaking production. <laughs> They're going to ruin that Netflix production. I think there was also a Witcher DLC or something that was announced, wasn't there? Kind of like how the Cyberpunk DLC. Uh, I don't know. We talked about Prince of Persia earlier. There was also a Prince of Persia remake, right? Because there's like the new Prince of Persia game, but then there's also. Um, I think the Prince of Persia game is. The yeah. Remake. There was like a well, remake no, there, going there, on that got canned. Oh, was that it? <laughs> um, what else? There was that 007 thing? Oops. Damn it. Okay, so what? Mm. Uh, there was a KOTOR remake announced, wasn't there? Yeah, KOTOR 1. That should be cool. I wonder if they're gonna like remake it, but with like that new engine that they've been using for all the new Star Wars games. Oh, for like Jedi Survivor and Jedi Fallen Order? Yeah. I hope like we actually see something like Mass Effect related soon. I miss the Mass Effect universe. I don't know if they will. I know Andromeda kind of bombed and they like left it on a cliffhanger. Probably for the best. I guess they could do like a new Mass Effect. I don't know. They'd have to, like, spin it off. Like, you couldn't play a Shepherd again. I mean, there's Outer Wilds, too. That's not really Mass Effect, but it's, like, spacey. Yeah. Um. 
Oh, there was that Wonder Woman um, game that was announced as well. I guess about time. I didn't hear that, actually. I'm just going off this list of uh, recent announcements. Ah. I know a lot of people don't really care about Harry Potter much nowadays, but there's a Harry Potter Quidditch game. Oh, I boy. Did, I did see it, and it looks like in the style of Fortnite. Yeah, it looks like basically a sports game. Yeah. Which, I mean, not a bad idea. It could be fun, especially since Quidditch isn't really possible in real life. True. So, uh... What's its name? Uh, Hogwarts Legacy just kind of came and went like a wet fart, didn't it? Yeah. All the controversies surrounding it ultimately resulted in no progress. <laughs> Will I be hated if I say that I may or may not have played it? No, I don't think so. I certainly won't hate you for it. Nah. Because despite everything and people were saying and their opinions about it, the game's really solid. Yeah. Like, it, it, it's actually doing... It, it, I feel like it's a love letter to the Harry Potter as a whole. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think as... Yeah, I mean, like... It's not, like, sure, J.K. Rowling's um, opinions are certainly uh, not agreeable. Right, um, and in, like, some of the, like, in, like, probably, like, a quarter of the cast, they're all, like... POCs or, like, minorities. Yeah, P POCs or, like, LGBT-friendly. Yeah. I feel like that was, like, the devs were belling against, like, her opinions. Yeah. Like, regard, and, like, it's, like, we can normalize this kind of theme in your game, and... It'll be good. It made a million because of the controversy? I wouldn't be surprised. I know there were a lot of people like playing the game out of spite. Yeah, that too. Oh my god, that was a fucking abomination of a card that I made. Jesus Christ. Uh. Yeah, Sony pushed Hogwarts Legacy a lot. I think they're still pushing it. Like, they're still doing promos and stuff for it. Yeah, there's gonna be a Switch version, apparently, and then if, if that's true, the console's gonna blow up because, like, the the graphic fidelity for Hogwarts Legacy is, like, really good. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like a bad game. It's just surrounded by controversy. Yeah, and that's, what, that's what's kind of killing it, sadly, because it is a solid game. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, like, it, it looks like exactly the kind of game that every Harry Potter fan has ever wanted. Like, it's just you, like, not Harry, but you exploring the yeah, Hogwarts you, world. Yeah, you create a character and you pick your house and you yeah. basically you go to your classes to to learn spells that are useful for the uh, combat sections of the game. Yeah, yeah, it looks like everything you basically want in a Harry Potter game. Mired in controversy. <laughs> But no, no, nobody, at least I don't think anybody here will hate you. We're all tolerant here. Right. Hate begets I a, hate. I, mean, I played it off stream just so I wouldn't right. have to face any of that. Right. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what their ultimate goal was. Like, you're going to make people feel bad for playing a game and that's going to somehow help your cause. Yeah, that doesn't make, doesn't uh, make the most sense, does it? No. Like, great job, you just discouraged more people from your cause. Yeah. Because people will think you're homophobic, transphobic, what have you, if you play this game or support it in any way. Right. Which is just utterly wrong. It is. It's morally incorrect. Like, if you, like, like despite what the creator's thoughts on certain things are, I think people still have the right to enjoy things that they like because... Harry Potter's huge, man. Right. It's bigger than one author. Yeah. And beyond that, like, the work should stand separate from the author. It definitely should. There, there's like a yeah, concept honestly. in... Yeah, there's a concept in literature called death of the author, which is just like once a work is out there, like, mm -hmm. as a piece of art, you, you are allowed to and encouraged to 
like uh, interpret it, um, interpret it however you feel like it it um, it affects you, and like mm -hmm. if it's a positive message to you, that's great, regardless of what the author thinks. Exactly. Like even the actors, they have a strong disconnect from the author. Yeah. Because they certainly don't share their opinion, the the same opinions as she does. Right. So it's uh. It, it feels well, like sometimes well, that a lot of it was just like a lot of people using it as an excuse to like cause drama and hate. Probably yeah. Uh, probably with most things, sadly. Yeah. <laughs> you okay though? Let's there? fucking go! <laughs> ah, fuck you, you fucking ball puzzle! <laughs> fuck you! Ah! Or as robust as the physics system is in this game, it's uh, janky sometimes. Yep. The king and you are the bitch! <laughs> it makes me think a little too much sometimes. Yeah. Like, like I sometimes I don't want to think too creatively, but the game forces that upon me. The thing is, though, like, you could, like, most solutions, you could just cheese it as well. That's also true, yeah. Like, I, there was definitely a couple of shrines where I was just, like, F it, and I just... D <laughs> I, like, There's this one something. part where this shrine wanted me to use a rail to, to get to the goal, and I couldn't, for the life of me, figure it out. So you know what I did? I jumped up on one of the rails and, and ran walked. across. <laughs> yeah. Because... <laughs> I'm just like, how else was I supposed to do it? Like, the game is not supporting any of my other decisions. Have you tried um, rail grinding? No. If you shield surf on a rail, you'll grind on it. Interesting. It's really cool. It's really fun. You should try it next time you see one of those rails. I definitely should. Yeah, those like Zonite crystal puzzles are pretty annoying. I can't think of one that I really liked. Yeah, I got to uh oh the one I'm like like the one I'm doing now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm almost done with this one, but this one took me because I I ran out of zon Zonite, so I'm like I had to find the materials just like they happen to be here, thank God. Yeah, like but... most of the puzzles they actually they leave the the materials that they expect you to use. Um, but if you do have extra materials, like, you can use those too. Yeah. Just did an air bike for one of the temples. Yeah. <laughs> I think the fire temple, I cheesed most of it. That's funny. Just like, because the rail system was so confusing. Oh, I, oh, I remember that. <laughs> that one is pain. I did like I did it the old-fashioned way. I went. I just I only use the rails, and I was in that dungeon for hours. Yeah. Because the rail systems are winding, and you can change the routes and stuff. And yeah. I'm just like I'm. I'm all for puzzles, but this it was exhausting. Like trying to figure out where to go next and how to go do it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> He's supposed to use the rail carts, but everyone just uses the hover bike, yeah. He's candy. Pretty much. That's the freedom of the game? Absolutely. I'm glad that the temples aren't like isolated like the like the shrines are, so that you can actually get creative with solutions. Mm -hmm. I made the mistake of doing the water temple first, and that's like one of the harder ones. Oh, me too. Yeah. I, I actually accidentally landed there. And then, mm. uh, um, but I didn't have, uh, Sidon yet. Um, oh. So I, like, did all the puzzles, um, but couldn't oh, no. figure out, like, why I couldn't activate the thing. 
Yeah, you need his power. Yeah. Note to self, don't do water temple first. <laughs> you can do it first, just make sure you actually do story. Like, you can, it's just really, it's compared to the other ones, I think. Or the ones that you can choose from to do first. Yeah. I'd say water temple these, wasn't the hardest. I would say the sky temple. That one's pretty bad, yeah. And the boss is kind of a joke too, so it's, <laughs> it's real, really easy compared to the other ones. Yep. Did you say there was more than one gotcha capsule? Uh, in the, uh, in the, um... In Terrytown? Terrytown, yeah. No, there's just the one. Oh, just like this one, right? Yeah. Okay. But it has like all the best items. It really does, yeah, I need to go back. I need to remember, it's there. It's marked on your map once you once you activate it. Right, yeah, here. I need more zone I need antidepressants. Well, you didn't have to get real on us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the the puzzles in the water temple, like or actually, in all the major dungeons, like, I would be stumped for hours on what to do next. Just the whole trial and error thing just wouldn't work. Though I do say I prefer the- I prefer the dungeons over, like, the divine beasts. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because I- I replayed Breath of the Wild recently. And the pain of doing, especially the the Garuda one, the camel one, oh my god. Like, I hated it so much. And the boss, too, so unfair. Oh, that's genius there, using a, uh, a water hydrant, like, machine thing for the water temple boss. Oh, yeah. You could probably do, like, what I just did and make a fire tornado, except do it with water. Yeah. The temples definitely are a step up from the Divine Beast. Mm -hmm. Yay, I finally got a heart container! Hey! That's one out of... I don't know. I think they increased the max life in this game. Because it's not max... it's not 30. I don't think. I thought it was two rows of 15. I, oh, no, uh, no, no, it's, it's no, two it's rows, two of, rows 20. of 30. Or 20, yeah. Yeah. So they... like Because Breath of the Wild had two rows of 15. And I think this one's two rows of... Yeah. 20 which is insane that's a lot of health but then again half the enemies in this game if not more do stupid damage to you that's true yep. so it's like the dark souls of the zone <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then once you get to like silver enemies like those things will just whack you yeah i'm gonna upgrade my heart containers too yay Ironically, I think the enemies do more more uh, more damage than some of the bosses. Yeah, that's what I. Was, that's so weird. I'm like, I there are items to or there's food to make that increase your defense. Yeah. Like you, if you get like a bunch of iron shrooms together and like make make the shish kebabs, and then your defense will go. But if you don't have access to those, then kind of. And physics in this game are real too, even in combat. Yeah. Like if you, I remember in Breath of the Wild especially, if you're rolling down a hit after an enemy hit, you still take damage because you're you're still like that. You're still being moved by the inertia of the item that hit you. Yeah. There's like that. There's similar physics in this game too, I think. Yeah. If not the same physics. Yeah, it's it's built on the same engine. Yeah. Just improved. Right. Did 
I not do this? This is an X on my map, I guess, from a side quest that I didn't get to yet. Can I just cheese this temple by doing this? Oh, I can't. Oh, like hitting it manually. <laughs> <laughs> I forget which one that was. Oh, I don't think I've done that one. We still can't pet the dogs in this game. No, but you can feed them and then they'll give you, or they'll lead you to treasure chests. That is true. Speaking of physics, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. The temple's called a well-timed balance. Oh, you're on a yeah. you're on a platform, right? Yeah, it's like a springy platform. So maybe oh. you need something heavier on the side to lift all up to hit the target? Maybe. I should probably search around. You have an idea? Let me hear it. I'm not sure what else is in the room, but I haven't done that. You can make a Zonite hand and then pet them? I guess so. Everything runs away when you use, like, Zonite items. Maybe stand on one side of the platform and then drop them on the other platform and maybe you hit the switch? I don't know. Or maybe vice versa? I don't know. There's no other physics objects in the room. It's just the ball. Maybe... can you use, um... Time Command? Maybe. If you haven't tried the Time Command yet. I think I am supposed to use the um, the recall, but I'm just not sure what the timing is. Like if I use it while it's at its low point. Here. Oh, well, that was something. You went up pretty high there. <laughs> yep. Lift the ball while the platform goes up. Okay. Well, let's wait for the next ball. No, come back. Okay, I have possession of the ball. I'm pretty sure this is not how you're supposed to do it. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, there it goes. There goes my cheese strat. Is there a... Uh, John, or... What? Sorry, ask. No, it's Sorry. okay. It doesn't matter what you call me. Um, Misko's treasure for the climbing outfit. Uh-huh. It says it's in the North Hyrule Plain Cave, but I don't see the item in question inside. Uh, it's Maybe. usually hidden. It's usually hidden in the, behind like a rock wall or something. Because I'm currently standing near the treasure. I just don't near the mark. I just don't know. Um, I can't remember if the mark is just where the cave is or where the actual treasure is. Yeah, uh, that's the part that's confusing me. But if you go in the cave, there should be like a little hidden wall or something. Or if it's a Misko treasure, it might be like a puzzle. Yeah, because if I go in the cave, I start straying away from the Hmm. Or maybe um, it's in this cave. I'll just look. 
That's yeah, right. I think it is in the cave. Might have to kill the like likes. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I keep avoiding them. <laughs> I remember there was one Misko's treasure where you had to like find three other ones first. You had to find the fierce deity set um, oh. and then wear it in the cave and then it would unlock um, another treasure. But like you'll you'll get something in like your quest log that actually um like details what you're supposed to do, but it'll be in like the form of like a riddle. Let's see. No, I wasn't killing the likes. Well, maybe it got them out of the way for something, like look around for maybe a breakable wall or something. Or just like something hidden. I like to use, like, if you, like, just activate um, Ultra Hand, like, it highlights everything in the, uh, in the environment. Makes some things a little easier to see. Excuse me. Here, I'll be right back, boys. Okay. Sure. Uh, don't forget to stretch and stuff. We've been sitting here for two and a half hours. Oh, yeah, I've been doing that. Longer, actually, because we were all playing together off stream as well. That's true. Any more video game news we need to discuss? I think we discussed everything. Yeah, I can't think of anything else that we haven't talked about. At least nothing that we're really excited about. Yeah. I think JBN said he wanted to hear our opinion on some things, but it's still here. I don't, I don't know where Los went either. Yeah. I guess we could talk about Tears of the Kingdom. True. Like, uh... Yeah, that... Misko's treasure wasn't in that cave. Hmm. I wish I could, like, come and help, like... Oh yeah, my. like in the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get that. Um, did it have a quest or is it just the X mark? I thought it was part of a quest line. Because there so... might be a clue. Hmm. None? Yeah, I don't seem to have the quest in question. Hmm. Oh yeah, the new Lotus Juice track for P3 Reload is pretty fire. Oh yeah. yeah. I wonder if they're going to remaster the whole soundtrack. Like, I hope they stay true to it, but yeah, that'd be nice. Like, I don't want yeah. the sounds to s or the music to sound too different, I guess. Yeah, but like remixes or just remasters. Yeah. <laughs>
Let's see. Um... There'll be a new battle theme. That would be kind of cool. That's what, that's what it sounds like. Oh, Dom, thank you so much for resubscribing. 38 months, that's three years. That's crazy. Thank you so much for the support. After, I think I need to find the climbing gear as well, so after I clear this shrine, I'll, I'll go look for it as well. Maybe we can find it together. Hmm. I looked it up because... <laughs> this is not my first time coming back here to find the treasure. Where is it? Apparently, I haven't looked up yet. Ah. So, so yeah, I'll there's... go back to the <clears throat> entrance and look up, maybe. There's a surprising amount of verticality in this game. I always forget to use the ascend ability. Yeah, same. I don't think it requires you to use ascend. There's probably like maybe like a, a hole in the roof that you can blast. Up with something else. This shrine is huge. I think I found it. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Nice. It's behind one of the waterfalls in the cave. Ah. There we go. Bye. Those ones aren't as obvious. No, like, even using Ultra Hand didn't help. Like, I couldn't see anything behind the wall. Right. I saw, like, what looked like a treasure chest, and I was like, hmm, maybe that's it. Oh, that's just... the body piece, not the whole set? No. I have the headgear. I don't remember where I got it. But yeah, it's... It, I mean, it's the same climbing set from the first game. Oh, okay. They also have a new climbing set that makes it so you don't slip on walls um, in the rain. Yeah, it's like a frog suit or something, right? Yeah. It looks goofy, but I want it. <laughs> yep, you have to do all like the new, like the pen quests. Like that new bird character. Mm hmm. Oh boy, more building. Though I do like a feature in Tears of the Kingdom where if you make a crafter recipe, you can recall it at any time when you have similar ingredients in your inventory. Oh yeah. 
Or even if you don't. True. Yeah, if you have the uh, auto build. Yeah. Or I meant like uh, cooking specifically. Oh, for cooking, yeah. Yeah, if there's like a piece of like if there's a recipe for like a, a food item that you're like, man, I I want to craft it again, but I forgot how to make it, then you can the uh, the game archives it for you. Yeah, which is really cool. Since food is a huge part of this game and staying alive. Yeah, even into the late game, like you still need food. Mm -hmm. All the time. I wonder if they would ever consider doing like a survival mode where like you need food to live. Like you, oh, like, you have like, a, like a, get hungry. A, a hunger meter and like a hydration meter. <laughs> yeah. You can't drink water though. There's no like no drinks in this game. No. Isn't this where the jump challenge was? The skydiving, skydiving challenge was. Yeah. Here we go. Did you do all all of the skydiving challenges? I don't think so. So I'm going to go to the bottom, speak to the NPC there, and find out. Yeah. Because if you if you did do all of them, you would get all three pieces of the uh, the dive armor, which is probably my favorite armor so far. Oh. I get here. I think I went too far down. I got pizza. Nice. Pizza is good. So. I gotta keep over launching this ball. The za. Get that za. Za, bra. Uh, what kind of pizza did you get, bro? Uh, pepperoni, sausage, or pepperoni, sausage, and bacon. Nice. nice. Meat lovers. Yeah, let's go. That sounds like a fire pizza, man. It is. <clears throat> I would have gone with spicy Italian sausage, but Domino's only had Italian sausage, so I'm like, you know what? It's still good. Throw some peppers and uh, Parmesan cheese on there, and I'm shit. Nice. Nice, dude. Dog, there is literally no pizza here for you. Hey, dog, come on. There is literally no pizza here for you. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but you don't need any pizza, bro. Where's the treasure chest in the shrine? It's not up there, is it? They're all rings in 20 seconds or less. Yeah! It's not that difficult, luckily. Yeah, the first one I did, I was like, okay, this is... I, I kept getting, like, 22, and then I just yellowed it. You gotta remember that you can also hold R1 to dive faster. Yeah. Oh, I missed the ring! No! <laughs> That's why I, I did too, and then I just slammed chest. myself into the floor. I was like, if I can't have it, no one can. I missed one. It was the last one, too. Alright. 
No. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to hold R1 the whole way down because, uh, yeah, you, there's a lot of leeway um, to actually make the, the par time. Oh, the, is this your first time doing it, Wes? This is my second time. No, I mean, like, overall. Like, it, well, these are your first two times ever doing the dive challenge, right? No, I've done oh. it once before. And I think it was like 25 seconds or something. Yeah, that's the one I just did. There's three of them, for one for each armor piece. They're pretty obvious in the sky too, like you can just see like the huge towering structures. Like there's three diving challenges? In yeah, because there's oh, three wow. pieces of the dive armor. Oh, right. Mmm, meat. Meat. Oh. Oh, did you not make it? The last ring, I missed it. Oh. Do you have any pieces Don't... of the dive armor right now? Because they would help have... a lot. I have no idea. Let's check. Yeah, because those uh, pieces help a lot with mobility. Wait. Okay, yeah, I'm just, I'm just wasting Zonai charges failing, so... You can always reload. I don't know when the last time I saved was. There's auto saves. That's the one thing that I was like having a hard time with. I was like, wow, I can save anywhere. And you should. How do I, how do I have none of the pieces? That can't be. Maybe I don't have them. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have any. Oh. You got this. You, you can use your paraglider as well to help with maneuverability. Yeah, I was using that too. Alright, eat up my zone eye charges. If I can cheese this shrine by just going over these walls. Bitch, yeah, I, I finished, but like a second too late. Oh. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. Testicles. <laughs> You're hanging out with Nick too much. Let's go. Oh, no. That is now a call out I make in Overwatch 2, and I've got my whole team to start saying it. You've been testicled. <laughs> You've been testicled. Ah, oh, it's not possible, man. You got this. Or maybe, I mean, you can always try one of the other skydiving challenges and then come back with pieces of the armor. Should I take off gear, make myself lighter? I don't know. <laughs> Unfortunately, that doesn't help. Yeah. Bitch. No, no, no. Did this count? What? Really? How are you off by just like half a second? Milliseconds, yeah. <sighs> Strict on that time. 
That's a bunch of coal, man. It's tough for sure. Hmm. Oh, I saw that one. Damn. Can I cheese the shrine? I think I can. I'm not going to solve this shrine the correct way. But I... But <laughs> I mean, you know, if it works, it works, right? Yeah. If they didn't want me to do this, they would have put in a way to stop me. Did I do it? Did I do it now, Mr. Krabs? Did I pass? Finally. You did it! Claps for Wes. Hmm, this object looks quite sus. Alright, now will it reach? A bunch, of, a, a bunch of balls? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I have to just make it hit it? Oh, boy. I hope this works. <laughs> Nailed it. Nice. Bro, you just made like the human centipede of testicles. <laughs> That's not the image I had in mind, but. <laughs> <laughs> the image we all needed. <laughs> I don't know where the treasure chest was in this shrine. I guess I don't care. It worked, and that's what matters. Hashtag brand new sentence. Oh, that's something. Uh, all the fucking moderators on Reddit. Oh, that yeah, the blackout. Blacking out subreddits. Yeah, in protest of the the IP uh, the the API changes. Only for the new CEO to be like, I mean, you can, but we're gonna go in there and just remove you. <laughs> I mean, like, he's doing all these threatening things, but also the site is now failing. I just want to go on my MMA subreddit, bro. Right. I just want my MMA news. Yeah, I mean, like, he, he made all these decisions to try to make the site more money, but I think it's just costing him money. He's like, using the uh, Elon method, I see. <laughs> yeah, basically. How's my yeah. David? It's been good, Tenshi. Built to carry. I made it. Let's go. What the fuck is this? This cheese grater ass dungeon. All right. Or er, tribe. Yeah. Same thing. Right. Yeah. Um... Yeah, Redditors are a special breed, Nira. I go there for my MMA news, and I, I just leave it at that. Yeah. Yeah, it's unfortunate that there's so much, like, valuable information on Reddit, but, like, it's all being lost. And then people who just say shit for no reason because they think it makes them sound correct. <laughs> and yet, I mean, all kinds. Good, good people get banned, and rude people get applause. 
yeah, Reddit culture is weird. I will say, uh, you know what? No, I'm not going to admit to this. Never mind. <laughs> you can Never say mind. it. I'm a Redditor. <laughs> I will say that whenever someone is acting like an asshole to me on those, uh, like just in general, or they just seem like a miserable fucking person, I always send them the Reddit cares thing. <laughs> and then I always send them a message being like, I genuinely hope you get help. That's that's pretty funny. That's a great way to say F you. Alright, now we're gonna come up here. Oh no. Oh yeah. I'm using it when Alien Blue lost support. Yeah, and they're about to lose support of a bunch of other apps that people were using. Aha, nailed it. Nailed it! Alright, I got one testicle in there. Now, where's the other one? Oh, was that the actual shrine opening? So what's this door go to? Oh, there's a... treasure in there. Is there another ball down there? Holy fuck sticks, there is. Yeah, every shrine has like a, a treasure chest. Why is everything on fire? Uh, the treasure chest is usually never worth it and it's just for like the extra challenge. Oh, never mind then, fuck that. All right, I'm out. Understand what I'm supposed to do here. Hmm. Will this work? Let's see. He's going to try this. This probably isn't the correct solution. Oh. But it's your solution. <laughs> I'm gonna make it work. I do like how, like, even though they do have an intended solution, like, they don't punish you for, um, for not using it. Yeah. That's good game design. Did you guys see that the uh, South Park creators bought and reopened Casa Bonita? No. So there is a famous South Park episode where Cartman is obsessed with going to a Mexican restaurant that is based off a real life location where they have uh, like a pirate's cave, they have cliff divers, they have a mariachi band. It's like the go-to Mexican spot and also uh john you're doing the trial the or the shrine that i literally just did and oh. making it seem easy and making me seem like a neanderthal uh but it's based off a not real life it easy. <laughs> it's based off a real life location and unfortunately it closed yes uh casa Benita tenchi and it's uh it closed during south park's production and the creators just spent i think it's 40 million dollars to purchase it Oh my god. And they're reopening it just because it's such a beloved episode. Nice. That's, yeah. That's kind of cool, actually. So it just reopened. They added like 500 something jobs. I th it was in the hundreds at least. Nice. Hundreds that's... of jobs to Colorado for this. That's pretty cool. That's, uh, that's applause worthy. Yeah. I thought it was hilarious that it all just started because it was such a beloved episode. Power of community. Somewhere in the geoglyph is a dragon's tear. Hmm. Alright, I'm definitely doing this a really hard way. Let's try a different solution. <laughs> I'm seeing the contraption you're building, Trump. <laughs> Trust me, even the one I made, I was like, how the fuck did this work? Oh, Blood Moon. I remember resting at a campfire. I posted a clip of this on Twitter where I rested at a campfire after defeating all the enemies in it. And then while I was sleeping, a blood moon happened. And then when I woke up, all the enemies respawned around me. I'm like, oh, awkward. this Surprise, is awkward. Surprise, motherfucker. 
some fries, motherfucker. I'm going to run and find this dragon tier and then cry. Motherfucker. Not same Tenchi. I'm not the same of I'm not a fan of uh, modern South either, but it is commendable what they did. For that restaurant in the community. I do like that they're actually doing storylines now, just I hate some of the repeat storylines. But I I do like having a whole season that has an entire like has a new story arc. It has like continuity. Exactly, yes. And like actual consequences. Right. Like Cartman finally uh has shit happen to him. Ah. And just karma bites him in the ass. As it probably should have years ago. Yes. Yeah. A very spiteful character. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I think it's perfectly normal to grind up your rival's parents and feed the to him in a bowl of chili. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, in a bowl of chili. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, normal. Yeah. <laughs> I made you eat your parents. <laughs> No other cartoon could have gotten away with it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Though I do like the episode Make Love Not Warcraft. Yes! The... So I saw a TikTok on that where they did an interview with, I think it was uh, Trey Parker, and he was like, please, please don't let this episode air. It is our worst <laughs> episode. Like, people are going to hate us and hate this show for this episode. And it ends up winning awards for them. I think it's one of their best ones. Yeah. But you know, we always think our projects are the worst thing in the world. Oh, true. It's nice seeing that like even big timers feel the same way. Mm hmm. This definitely isn't the intended solution, but I somehow made it work. <laughs> That's the, the best, best kind, part, dude. <laughs> I'm kind of unsure what the intended solution was. See, I, think, I made um, like a cabinet, and I put the ball in the cabinet. I think AG he play he plays all the puzzles to make sure that they're solvable. Solv yeah, that sounds right. And I think there was one where he couldn't figure out. I forget which game it was. I think it was like one of the DS ones. And I guess he and an, and a employee was, an employee of his got into a heated debate over the puzzle. Oh. I remember seeing an interview about this game where like, you know how like when you stick hearts together they have like that little weird like glue effect between them yeah um i think originally i think it was uh Gigi that said that he didn't want that there because it just looked bad yeah um but then like game design wise it was kind of necessary right i mean like what else would you put there instead well, his his ideal was just not put anything there and just have it be nice and clean. Oh, but then, I see. But then people couldn't figure out like that you could actually take them apart. Mm -hmm. That's why play testing is important. Yes. It's interesting that they chose green as such like a major 
like thematic color in this game. Mm -hmm. It works though. It does. It looks it, good. It's striking. Stands out. <clears throat> I do wonder if like they tried it with different colors at some point. I'm s probably. I'm sure they did. At one point or another. Though I wish, when taking something apart, you didn't have to wiggle the right stick and like reorient orient the whole piece. Yeah, like that should be like one, like a button you, press. Yeah, to like unstick it so you don't mess up the rest of the uh, position of the vehicle if you don't want it to move. Yeah. Yeah, the building controls can definitely be improved. What am I supposed to do here? Guys, I think of a I thought of a new remaster that we can add to the board of what? stuff that needs to happen to give it some redemption. Okay. Golden Sun? No, no. That too. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Uh it's a PS4 game. In a much loved series between all of us. Are you talking about? <laughs> I think I know what I did. <laughs> uh, not the first game, but the second one, right, Nick? It's totally the first one, you know? Yeah, right. Are you talking about Exilia? No, Zestiria. Oh, Zestiria. Oh, I thought you were talking about Exilia too. It's like, oh, oh so, Exilia, so, Exilia me and Wes were, were at the same remake. Same. Yeah. yeah. I thought. Yeah, I, really I thought. I thought you were just be like, just Exilia 2 needs a remake, not the first one. I, oh, I yeah. Like, Sir. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, you're correct in that regard. I no, mean, I'm... <laughs> I knew you had a good intuition and good taste, Wes. I mean, Exilia 2, easily the best Tales game of all time. You know, even yeah, better than Yeah, it totally doesn't reflect real life where you're constantly broke. Exactly. That just makes the experience more endearing, you know? Just Tales means, uh... Zesty. Ow. Bitch. I died from rolling down the hill. <laughs> Zillia 2 is uh oh. much more worthy. Uh, I was I was jokingly we gonna be like Zysteria deserves it, you know. Give that game some redemption. Uh, maybe. <laughs> that game needs it. It kinda does, but then again they made the anime. That connects the stereo to Berseria, and people are saying it's much better than the game. Was the anime good? I never watched it. The anime was really good, actually. Oh, shit. Maybe I'll have to give that a watch. I'm always looking for new stuff to watch. Like, I'm watching the new Gundam right now. Oh, uh, watching... Mercury Witch? Yeah, Witch from Mercury. And it's... It's something, all right. I don't know if it's a good something, but it's something. But lots of new good anime are coming out right now. Yeah. Oh, there's like a storm front right there. I wonder what that is. I'll go into it. And if I die, I die. Oh, wait, no, that's all ice over there. Nah, I can't. Aren't we due for a, a new Tales game announcement soon anyway? Uh, maybe? You think we would be, but they're not going to. Yeah. Given their current track record. They're so. relishing in, uh, in, uh, Symphonia Remaster's success. <laughs> yeah, how's that going? Not as good as they would like, but they won't <laughs> say it. Which is a shame, because, like, a proper Symphonia remake, I would buy that probably several times. I would buy the Collector's Edition, and then I would like buy it for other people. They need, they need, yeah, they needed an HD remake with yeah remastered or yeah remastered visuals and new and modern gameplay mechanics and just make it look HD and yeah. But they chose the easy way out and then they just shot themselves. In the just do like, just do Symphonia, but with like. A more modern engine. Even like something as old as Vesperia would be good. Yeah. 
I agree. Watch Oshinoko. That seems to be like the anime that everybody's talking about right now. Yeah, I want to watch it. The first episode's like, I think, what is it, like an hour long? Something like that. The premise is so wacky. Well, you gotta watch Mashal too. Because Mashal is just one punch man mixed with Harry Potter. That sounds pretty fun, actually. And it's fucking amazing. What was it called? Mashal? M A S H. L E. Okay. It's called the full title is Mashal Muscles and Magic. Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> I'll have to check that out. Sounds like a swole version of My Little Pony. <laughs> Dude, it it's so fucking good. Friendship is was, muscles. <laughs> yeah. I was reading the manga too, and then when I got my new phone, I uh, it didn't transfer over what chapter I was on on the Shonen Jump app, and I lost track. So I was like, I don't want to go back and reread everything. So. I mean, if it's good, why not reread it? Rue, I'm just, I have too much stuff to read already, dude. That's fair. Like, I have every weekly series that comes out on Sundays, and then uh, I'm still rereading Tokyo Ghoul again for some reason. This is already an old anime, but I watched the first episode of uh, uh, Recovery of an MMO Junkie just because I was free on YouTube. Ooh. It's actually really cute. Did nice. you see that? Uh, I think Log Horizon is coming back because the oh, yeah. author got out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do, continue my series. Yeah. Log Horizon was good. Pretty sure that's what I saw. Dumbbell anime? Oh, yeah. Like, uh, how many kilograms can you lift or whatever? That working out anime? <laughs> Oh, speaking of, yeah. Speaking of jail, I'm surprised that guy from Sega didn't go to jail a third time. Oh, yeah. For, uh, <laughs> for the insider, insider trading with Square You know, you gotta give that man props for his determination. True. If at first you don't succeed, <laughs> I'm gonna gamble it all again. Yeah. He has the money to bail himself out. He's just... <laughs> Uh, this as long as it doesn't affect any of the games I care about that come from Sega, fuck it. Let him gamble. Or let him do insider trading. I mean, Sega publishes a ton of games. Everyone in the US does it, you know? <laughs> Basically. I mean, they have websites yeah. dedicated to tracking uh, senators and congressmen's uh, stock trading options, so you can go ahead and see what they're doing. Wow. And just replicate what they're doing. Man. Yeah, Yuji Naka. Yeah. That is watching his baby grow up in jail. Sure. That's sad. Where was the treasure chest in this? Oh, it was probably in that previous room. Eh, whatever. I'm just gonna clear the shrine. Oh, Nick, have you reached the depths yet? Yeah. I got there yeah. one time right before stream. I told Wes and Jazz that I was scared and I promptly left. <laughs> it is pretty spooky. It is. Speaking of which, I need to find more chasm entrances. The atmosphere in the depths is so good. Especially that, like, spooky, like... War sound that plays. Cue the trombone when you first jump. It's like, and then you don't see anything. You're like, oh, I'm going <laughs> to die, right? This is death. I'm in danger. Yeah, exactly. Which one do I need more of? Bows the, or sheep? The, the depths are a very valuable resource for material. Material you'll come across when you start exploring.
Oh, don't tell me that. It's actually vital. Yeah. I, I, I like how like all the like the three the upper map, the main ground and the jets are like intertwined. Like you need stuff from the overworld to explore the depths, and then you need stuff from the depths to improve your overworld exploration. Yep. It's nice, it doesn't feel like it's a separate thing. Mm-hmm. Biggest jump scare is when you see a dragon flying up from the depths. Oh yeah, the dragons are. Are the dragons bigger in this game? I feel like they're bigger. I think they're the same scale as the. They're cool though. Yeah, they're hot. they're amazing. I need to find them again because I need the materials to upgrade the armor. They do feel bigger. They have that signature Chinese violin playing when they when you see them. Yeah, I think it's each of their theme songs, right? Yeah. I think they're all relatively the same, aren't they? I think so. I mean they're like the theme songs are like references to um, the old games. Oh. Cause the the dragons are Dinral Ferocian. Nedra, which are, I think, the three goddesses. Ah. Well, this well has corruption. Let's dive down it. I think I broke this puzzle. Because the ice is no longer spawning. That sucks. Wait, which puzzle? Yeah. Oh, I see. Um, I hate looking down and it's just pitch black. It's like the worst thing in the world. <laughs> there's a there's a piece of equipment you can get um, that like lights up. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I, I have it here. I think you can actually find it in the depths. Um, you can also take make potions that make you glow. But here's like the minor outfit. Yeah. It's cool that it actually glows. Mm-hmm. Ice isn't spawning anymore, what the hell? Maybe you just need to destroy the block fully. Attach the ice block to your shield. Way, 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 way. Big boing time. Big boing time? Big boing time. Not so big brain time. That was a quick switch. Still not big brain time. Um, is it fwa fwa time? Uh, it's fucking. <laughs> I I never took physics in high school time. Apparently. Oh yeah, it's big brain time. Hmm. Let's see. So many physics puzzles. Fortunately, most of the physics puzzles are limited to the actual shrines. Okay, so this can slide.
Next Zelda game is gonna be like co-op or something, and it requires like four people to solve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like do four swords adventures, but in like 3D. Yeah, that would be awesome. That would be. I would just love another four swords adventures, like just a new four swords game, but with like more mechanics and stuff. We have yet to finish the original four swords adventure. Oh yeah, we never finished it. We should, though. Yeah, we should. items respawn. Can you imagine if they didn't you just soft lock yourself in there? <laughs> that would suck. Yep. for four swords to be released in NSO. Yes, that would be a great way to do it. Because the way we were playing it before was kind of janky. Oh, true, yeah. But if it released on NSO, that would be awesome. They'd have to do like a NSO GameCube in order to do that, though. Maybe Nintendo should get on. Because <laughs> the GameCube has a good library. I mean, if you jailbreak your Switch, I think people have already developed a... Um, a, a GameCube emulator for Switch. So the Switch is powerful enough to emulate GameCube games. Interesting. I think, I think even, I think, oops. Um, I think people, when, when, um, was it Super Mario Sunshine, um, like this, yeah. this All-Stars version released, um, people hacked that and figured out, like, Sunshine was just running on a GameCube emulator, like, internally, basically. Interesting. So it is possible, and, Ninten and Nintendo does have the emulator for Switch, I guess, working. So they could easily do a, a GameCube uh, NSO. Yeah. Once again, don't know if that's how I'm supposed to fix this, but <laughs> you need this game. I'll be right back. Okay. I felt that sometimes in um, Breath of the Wild as well. Like there were some shrines where I definitely didn't solve them correctly. But a win is a win. Yep. Next Nintendo Direct. Yeah, they're probably just like waiting um, for like like when they're when they need like a sudden spike in in memberships or something um, in order to announce uh, like a GameCube online. Are you yawning, Bubba? Are you tired?
Switches aren't it's turning out to be like the ultimate emulator. Or not emulator, but the ultimate gaming console. 21 year old Max Park has set the has set a new world record for solving a three by three by three Rubik's Cube in just 3.13 seconds. Nice. I think we all I expected. Saw that video. It was kind of crazy. Yeah. Max Park has been the world record holder for a long time now. That's not surprising that he got a new record, but that's really awesome for him. That is crazy that they keep pushing the record lower and lower. Yeah. I'll just give it one second, guys. It's okay. <laughs> I think even, like, robots can't solve it that fast. Like, there's, like, a physical limitation to how fast you can turn a cube. True. But the cube has never met me. Solution is not just this, right? Hmm. Oops. Here, guys, I'll be right back. Okay. okay. There's still people out there that think Switch Pro is coming. <laughs> no. Nope. Yeah, it's probably not. not. Even, Nintendo... if it, even if it was, like, they're probably de developing their new console. Yeah. Which they probably think is the Switch Pro, but it's going to be something different. Yeah. Like,. I think, I think it comes from the fact that like Xbox and PlayStation have released pro versions. But I don't they think do Nintendo's like, ever done that. They've done console revisions, but they've never right. like improved they, the hardware. Yeah, they have the Switch, they have normal Switch, they have the Switch Lite, and then they have the... Yeah. What am I doing this room? This is weird. I mean, I wouldn't mind a more powerful console, but I think at this point, like, Switch is good enough that, like, you don't need anything else for a while. Like, people are still optimizing games for the Switch and everything. They are. And also, I don't want to have to buy another, like, multi-hundred dollar console. console. Yeah. Yep. They expensive. Yep. Switch is the cheaper alternative anyway. It is. That's what I think. That's it's what makes it so accessible. Because mm -hmm. like PS5 is like prohibitively expensive. It's a little crazy. Yes. Same thing with the Series X. Yeah. But even more of a downgrade because it doesn't really. Yeah, it's not as powerful. Yeah. They didn't really do anything revolutionary. Not that I know. Of. It's just another console for more of a money grab. Yeah. What do I do in this room? Uh, I think you're... Oh, uh, if you look above, there's like a thing you have to shine the light on, I think. Right, but where's the ray of light? I think you're supposed to carry that mirror to the other room where there was a light and then shine the light into that room. Oh, okay. That would make the most sense. <laughs> What do I do here? Oh wait, can I just... Oh wait. Hmm. 
How old is the Switch now? Because like consoles seem to have like about like a 10 or 15 year lifespan. The Switch, well, it released in 2017, right? Okay, so we're only like halfway through the lifespan, probably. Yeah. That's it, a lot of the nice. older consoles are still relevant. Like the Wii U, for as little support as it's getting, is still like relevant. Yeah. Especially in the emulation scene. People have cracked that thing wide open. No doubt. Six years old, yeah. I wonder if at some point, and I doubt it, but at some point we'll just get a console that's like so powerful that we don't want anything else. Maybe once like quantum computing becomes more of a thing, like we get like a quantum, quantum computer console and it just like... Uh -huh upgrades itself or something. I don't know how quantum technology works. Yeah, same. Why is that prop up? Oh, that's weird. Oh, I probably need it. Some of them. wonder because quantum computing is a thing that's gonna happen but i don't know how it's gonna apply to gaming mostly right now it's used for like security i'm not sure Because at some point, like, because, like, I mean, I guess we've said this before, not we specifically, but just people have said before, like, this is as good as the graphics are going to get. We don't need any more improvement. And then next generation always improves it. It does. Like, at some point, we're going to get, like, to photorealism. And then after that, we're going to get, like, even further beyond more yeah. photorealistic. Eventually, like, Sooner we're not going to be able to tell the difference. Yeah. You're going to be able to like render real life within the game. Ha have a console that's so powerful, like it, it, it simulates an entire universe in the console <laughs> in order to like yeah. then make it realistic graphics for a game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, once we reach photorealism and then we're able to like generate like images uh, that look real in real time, like that's gonna be scary. And like technology will keep advancing. There's probably gonna be a point where if you play like an RPG, yeah, and you'll wear like a special headset and like it'll register like your. Like, like your voice, your vocals when making decisions and stuff. Yeah, I mean, that kind of stuff is already kind of possible. Yeah. I look forward to when, because, like, right now, I don't know if you've heard of, like, heard all the, uh, like, AI um, stuff. Um, they have, like, AI voice generators now that are so good at, like, uh, right. you, you can, like, just take a small sample and, like, fully have a voice. Yeah, uh, voice actors aren't taking kindly to that. <laughs> well, I mean, like, it's not perfect yet, but, like, it's still kind well, of... But, like, when it does, though, people are going to be... Yeah, once they figure out how to, like, get emotion and stuff in, into the voices. Yeah. But imagine, like, like you could literally procedurally generate an NPC that, and fully voice it. Right. And, like, it could literally respond to your comments. 
Like imagine an RPG where you like can literally type whatever and then it would respond appropriately. Mm -hmm. Be pretty freaky. Yeah. I mean, people have already kind of experimented with that, um, with like games like AI Dungeon. Yeah. Technology has come far in such a short time frame when you think about it. Yeah. Like, all it took was, like, the one discovery of, like, stable diffusion, and then it was like, well, AI's taken off. Yeah. And, like, in, like, just a few months, or even just a few weeks, that technology evolved so insanely quickly. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. The shrine is called Alignment of the Circles. Alignment of the Circles. Oh. Maybe Alignment of the Circles on the ceiling? Possibly. Because those, those ceiling circle things have just been, like, decorative. But I wonder if now they actually serve a purpose. An interesting use of mechanics. For sure. I did it! That was it! Oh, it was part of the ceiling? Yeah. Huh. That's good to know if you run across this temple. Pay attention okay. to the ceiling. I have no idea where the treasure chest is in this room. Oh, wait. There it is. How do I get that? Probably another hint somewhere. Ah, a fifth ball. What is this? A hidden tile. Oh, that was not nearly as clever. Have you seen all the videos of, like, the crazy devices? I think we talked about this a little earlier. I haven't seen all of them, but, like, <laughs> from what I've, the ones I have seen are pretty good. Yeah. The ones that impress me most are, like, the ones that, like, they, they figured out some weird, like, mechanical thing. Like, using, making gears and stuff. Yeah. Like, I would not have even ever thought of that. Really brings out the creativity in others. Yeah. And I think people are still to this day discovering mechanics. Mm -hmm. Like trying different fusion stuff. Like people have been using non zonai items like spears and, and stuff to build. Oh. Oh, no, no! <laughs> Oh no! Well, there goes my contraption. <laughs> <laughs> I I hate how the wings are limited. Like I thought, I had enough flight power to make it up there, but I guess I didn't. That's rough. 
Yeah, it's for a jump puzzle or uh, like a free falling challenge. It's just that I'm not sure how to get up there. Uh, well, you can usually start at the bottom, right? Because there's an NPC that will send you up there. I think. I will try that. It's hard to think of what Nintendo will do next because they already made the hybrid handheld yeah. TV console. Like, what are they gonna do now? Because they're all about that and that innovation. Yeah, I do look forward to what they come up with next because, like, you like you can literally never predict what Nintendo's gonna do. Right. It's the Wii U 2. <laughs> or the Wii Wii. I wonder if their next console is going to be like virtual. Like a, like a virtual reality console. Like they'll, they'll try the virtual boy again, but like maybe this time. Um, that it won't bleed your eyes? Yeah. I mean, it can't be worse than uh, Apple's $3,500 headset. Yeah. <laughs> People would rather wear, pay money to wear that, but they'd cost nothing to wear a mask. Ooh, there's a well. Right? <laughs> oh, this well goes into the depths. Rest in peace. I'm in danger. <laughs> oh. oh, those are bacoblins. Oh, yeah, they're depth bacoblins. Machines can drown too. I just want them to go like, just make another box. Just do a box, make it like a a good looking console that can actually. Well, they made the GameCube look like a box because they wanted a console that was. Yeah. Like, remember the handle that's on the GameCube? And what <laughs> happened? The GameCube was a fucking amazing piece of technology. It was. Yes. But it like it didn't sell as well as any other console in that generation. Sadly, but like it had a great library. No, yeah, it's fantastic. I think it still it holds up to this day. I mean, yeah. Super Mario Sunshine. Let's go. Yeah. Pokemon Coliseum. Yeah. Oh my God, and XD Gale of Darkness. Yeah. Which both need a remaster. They do. Oh man, can you imagine like a Pokemon Stadium Legacy Collection? That'd be good, but we do have Pokemon Stadium on the Nintendo Online. That's Wait, true. Online play. That's true. Yeah, we can all suffer in the mini games together. <laughs> Why aren't we? Uh, we value our sanity. <laughs> we played Mario Party and I almost committed war crimes. Back. Back. Which I, I am totally down to do again. I need redemption. <laughs> yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, I, and also, I always stand by this, that F-Zero GX was one of the greatest racing games of all time. Isn't that getting a re-release? I hope so. I, thought I there need was a some, modern like, way to play that game. Article coming out where it's getting a re-release. Yeah, I, I saw that too. Why are there a bunch of things just staring at me? I stare back. <laughs> oh, mother. Oh, no, 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 I'm out, I'm out, no, no, no. Why are they so fast? What did you run into? Uh, a whole little encampment of death. Oh, I see. With goblins! Oh, I got the gliding pants. Nice. Oh wait, I do have the gliding top. I should be wearing this stuff. <laughs> I might need to borrow a pair of pants because these guys might make me shit myself. All right, they ran away. I'm intimidating, you know. Have you, have you, any of you found the great fairies yet? I have, but I don't know what items they need. I don't know. Oh, they'll, they'll tell you what items they need. Oh. Um, How do you do the shield slide? 
uh, uh, while you're in the air, L and then A, or L plus A. You are G. Oh, all right. You Don't to... watch stream. Don't watch stream. <laughs> if you oh. have something fused to your shield that's not flat, you will fall over. Don't don't watch stream. No, I'm. I love that tumbling animation. That's hilarious. Fuck. Uh, but yeah, if you uh if you upgrade um if you upgrade the uh the the dive armor um up to like all pieces up to level two. Um, the armor set effect is that it negates fall damage. Oh yeah, the man maneuverability with the uh, gliding set? It's so good. That's I could have used that in the other challenge. Oh well. <laughs> right. You said there's three? Because it's, yep. it's a hat, right? Yep. Are, are all the challenges near each other? Because uh, two are they're, two are near each other. I mean, they're, I don't remember where all of them are, but they're like pretty obvious in the sky if you just look around because they're like the huge, like um, kind of like segregated, like little island tower things. Yeah. It's easier to see, like not on the map, but like actually looking around. Mm-hmm. Tenno makes such a huge hit with something, uh, how they how they top it, like with Switch with Zelda, the demographic with a bunch of edgy preteens. I wonder if Nintendo understands how their demographic changes, or if they just always serve the same demographic and just expect people that grow up to like still have nostalgia for it. Yeah, I wonder. Because they always seem to make kids' games. Or at least, not necessarily kids' games, but like games family that are, friendly. Yeah, games. family friendly. That's always been their shtick, is to make content that's that yeah. everyone can enjoy. They're like the Disney of video games. Pretty much. <laughs> I remember up to like, I think it was up to like the Super Nintendo um, era, they also had that like Nintendo's seal of quality thing yeah i don't think they do that anymore where it's like oh yeah this is a an officially licensed nintendo product or whatever yeah i don't know oh yeah still they still have uh, adult sense of humor oh yeah for sure and, and themes in their family games i will not doubt that Family, family, but with some fucked up implications. This going. Have you guys already seen the speed runs for this game? No, because I was going radio Not silent. Yet. I just saw the times. Like one hour or something like that. Yeah, they're pretty insane. It's crazy how fast people figured out like all the mechanics in order to then speedrun it. I look forward to like, like in Breath of the Wild, um, one of the speedrun categories is like all shrines. 
oh god, like how fast can you beat all the shrines? Yeah. It's gonna be crazy, crazier with this game because, uh, because you can beat some of the shrines with, like, rocket shields or whatever. Yeah, more creativity. Yeah. I imagine most shrines are probably gonna be beaten with rocket shields. More than likely. <laughs> Yeah, like, if you buy a game just to speedrun it, I feel like that's a waste. Well, I mean, they're not, I mean, people are, are enjoying the game, and then once they're done with the game, that's when they usually start speedrunning. Ah. Because speedrunning isn't about... Because um, the people who speedrun aren't the ones playing it quickly. The, pe the, ones, the people who speedrun are, are the ones playing it for, like, hundreds of hours. Um, because... They have to. They practice those speed runs. True. Oh yeah, the maneuverability is so much better than this. Yeah, it's crazy. I look forward to like some of the contraptions that people build for speed runs. Yeah. Yeah, a good way to think of video game speedrunning is like, um, you know, uh, I hope this ball doesn't go here. Um, uh, you know how, like, in the Olympics, there's the 100 meter dash, right? Right. But, like, you know, why would you watch somebody run 100 meters? You can just run 100 meters yourself or whatever. But the point isn't that they're running 100 meters, it's that they're running 100 meters incredibly quickly. It's the skill level behind it. Exactly. It's That's, like why we watch sports. Exactly. The same with video game speedruns. It's, it's an incredible amount of skill behind, behind it. Mm. It's definitely not for everybody, but right. it, it is an enjoyable way to actually consume more content of about your favorite video games. So I can speedrun RE4 Remake in three hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's thanks to multiple player run playthroughs like you were talking about. Yeah, exactly. Like getting familiar with the game that you can just pretty much do it like blindly or like with one arm tied behind your back. Yeah. Hello, Sunar. Yes, it's me. It is Eventide. We're trying this new thing called Twitch Guest Star. It's pretty cool. You can see Wes's stream and Nick's stream. And John's stream all at the same time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like... Like, um, for a lot of games, um... Uh, like, if you really enjoy a game, like, if, and watch this speedrun, it's actually, like, a great way to learn more about the game, because speedrunners, like figure out cool glitches and stuff um, yeah. and like figure out like like a new way it's basically a new way to play the game or like it's a different way all right jump challenge again you got this the uh the the dive armor is definitely my favorite in this game I wear it like all the time. Nice. I'm wearing it right now. Definitely makes maneuvering when you're not diving easier. Yeah. And considering yeah, considering how much like you're diving from the sky um to like get to certain places. Um yeah. it's just makes it that much more enjoyable. Definitely. <sighs>
And there's the glide mask. Nice, you nailed it on that first try, it looked like. I did because of the maneuverability of the, of the rest of the pieces helped. Yeah, and now you have all three. Now you can, like, swim around in the air. Pretty much, yeah. Am I missing any shrines? Nick oh. just died. Oh, no! <laughs> the wolf came up and killed him! Oh, no, Nick! I mean, he just completed his shrine, so there was an auto Please save. clip that, somebody. <laughs> Man, just standing around is... <laughs> yeah, it is dangerous in this game. Oh, Nick, are you back? Yeah, I was wondering why I came back to my screen and I died. <laughs> yeah, you, dude, this wolf just comes up to you and shanks you. <laughs> oh fuck! That was not a nice puppy. That was no. not. And I was putting my puppy to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to. You know what? Fuck Peta. Where's this bitch at? Well, you died and reloaded. I, he might still be nearby, actually. Yeah, there's oh, the yeah, wolf. That's it. Oh, there, there you is. go. <laughs> you might, You should eat his meat raw. Just to just to flex. I'm gonna rest my fucking balls on his forehead first. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You too. You can catch a stray. Never mind. You're running. Thank you, Nero, for the clip. Thank you. <laughs> God damn it. Now you can see exactly what happened while you were gone. Darkness everywhere. <laughs> Instead of pocket sand, it was surprise wolf. <laughs> surprise wolf. This is the first time I've seen a floating platform. Wait, is this a floating platform? Hey, bitch! Aww. Oh, it's like a really buoyant platform. Alright, I'm gonna do something that I've seen some people do. I'm going to smuggle this platform out of the shrine. You're going to take it with you? Yep. I feel like oh, it's going to be see. useful for building boats. I'm on a boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Good job, everyone. Good job. <laughs> Those are totally the... <laughs> Now that's a guy who has a career that I never thought would evolve to the point where it is now. I appreciate your version of the clip. Aura, thank you. Ow. That reminds me, don't forget to join us next week for, uh, or not next week, tomorrow I think for the art stream for Clip Superstar. Oh, the platform respawned, how nice. Wait, that makes me wonder, can I just take that platform? Do I have to use this one? Yep. 
I'm pretty sure I was supposed to use that platform to launch myself, but I just <laughs> used a <laughs> ascend. Oh, that that works. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, who won? You'll see tomorrow. Bitch. Oh, Heinz Ketchup, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. We are four Ketchup. hours into stream. <laughs> Now I'm hungry. I appreciate it. Already? <laughs> I have leftovers. I'm good. Welcome, welcome. I am Astra, one half of Starcrust. I run this channel with my wife, but tonight I am with my best friends, the boys. Minus one. We usually have a fourth boy, but uh, he's not here tonight. He's dead. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bitten by just a pack of snakes. snakes you even don't... know the cause of death, too. <laughs> snakes don't traditionally go in packs, but... Uh... It, it was wild. There's this new thing called snake packs, you know? I found a dragon. Specifically for Brandon. Oh, nice. Hit it. Kill it. No. I'll Eat its meat. Much better than that. They have, like, little resources on their on their Eat its children. Sometimes, like this. Yeah, yeah, the horns. Or the uh, yeah. horn shards. You, you can also hit it for a scale. Um, if you hit its horn, you get a piece of horn. And if you hit its claws, you get a piece of claw. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, all of them excellent fusion materials. Yes. Also, you need, I think, the scales for uh, upgrading armor and stuff, so... Every time you find a dragon, you should definitely try to get a scale. I think I've cleared all of the shrines on the surface. That's right, die, bitch! Need to do something ah! based up here. Hey, hey, hey! We don't we don't talk about the wolf, all right? <laughs> you want to talk about a wolf? How about this one that I'm about to no scope right now? Kadoosh. Were you sixty no scope? Bro, fucking seven twenty flick no scope. <laughs> you know, tiddly winking. Okay, that wasn't a pseudo wudo tree. We're good. I can't find how to identify whether a tree is fake or not. I guess you could you could put the tree on your Sheikah sensor, and then if you got near um, one of the trees, it would tell you. But otherwise, they look indistinguishable from like friendly Other trees. trees. Yeah. Until they start killing you. <laughs> How's the stream going? It's going. It's going pretty good. We've been having fun just chilling um, and, and chatting about video games while playing a video game. I somehow ran out of arrows. I, I get that feeling. I mean, I, I have like a thousand arrows, but I always feel short. Hmm. Let's see, I don't know if you guys know this trick, um, but you could take out a Zonai device in the air. Oops. And then get on it. Oh, no! That is not the Yeah, nice, nice. I saw that. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> take two. No! <laughs> oh, no. Well, recall it. <laughs> I, you can't do that in midair, I don't think. Oh. Uh. Bro, how are you? <laughs> I've done this before. No. It's getting worse with each try. <laughs> okay, I have 99 of these. Ah, nailed it. <laughs> On the sixth try. Nailed it. <laughs> Only the arrow deemed works. Yeah, I don't know why it's not working out. I gotta figure that out. I'll figure that out before tomorrow. Or will you? 
Or will you? Mm hmm. Tis the question. Ooh, what's at the top of this hill? I can't see worth anything. Why is everything so bright? Why the fuck is there just a cork here? Maybe. I mean, it's pretty obvious what that is, right? Yeah, I need some greater force oh, to Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Rocket the wing's man. about to expire. You're like Icarus. You just flew too close to the sun. I wonder why they gave these wings, like, this kind of expiration timer. Today yeah, I learned that, that they That's so timer. weird. What's up? Oh, thank you. Ah, nailed it. I got it that time. Yeah. Thank you, Aura. Oh, I passed where I needed to go. This boy. Yeah, let's go. Give me your poop. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Wow, this was a lot further down than I thought. I probably didn't even need the wings. I probably could have just skydived down here. Wee! You got the writing done? Oh, Aura can't hear me right now. She's in the kitchen. Does it, smell, does it still smell like burnt egg rolls? <laughs> no, it's good. I didn't burn them that badly. Is the shrine pointing all the way over there? Oh my god. That is a long distance for a crystal. realizing this is the first area in Breath of the Wild, this church here and stuff. Yeah, yeah that's the uh, the ancient... Great Plateau. Yeah, the Forgotten Temple. What happens if you go inside that resting chamber that Link was in the first game? If it's even still there. I believe it is still there. You should try it. I haven't found it yet myself, um, but I... I uh, I know it's still there. Oh yeah, still here. The shrine of resurrection. I don't think that thing launched me far enough.
Alright, when in doubt, flying motorcycle. Roll round at the speed of sound. This can't be it. There's nothing in here. Where do you think all the Sheikah stuff went after the first game? Great question. Dragon. Which dragon is that? Testicles. <laughs> Testicles? <laughs> yes. I like to ride my bicycle. <laughs> Apparently, you have an endless supply of bicycles. <laughs> as long as they have enough parts. Right. No, this is... Wait, there has to be more in here. Yeah, it literally even said Shrine of Resurrection. There's just... Disappointment. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there is more in there. Well, I think I found it. <laughs> there it is. Is that the Sheikah symbol or is that the... Uh, it's upside... Symbol? It's the upside down, so it's the uh, symbol. Oh. They've is taken over your bed. Dude again? Yes. I won't tell you where he is now. You can discover that for yourself. It's actually a really fun side quest. <laughs> He is just as silly as uh, as you remember. Oh yeah, the leader. Koga. Nope, no survivors. You just killed them all. <laughs> I did. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing in the shrine, but I've just gotten a bunch of treasure chests, so fuck it, I'll call it, I'll call it a success. Wait, Wes, have you done um, the Yiga like side quest yet? The one where you, where you find their secret base on the surface, yeah. Uh, yeah, there, there's there's a lot more to it. Oh, okay. Like, I've seen some of their bases in the depths. But... Um, no, but... Jealous. I don't know if this is a spoiler. But, what, uh... The, that fight? No, but, uh... No. The look on my screen... Oh, <laughs> nice. If you actually get that set and wear it, they'll actually believe you're a member and they won't attack you. Oh, wow. And you can get some funny dialogue with it. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Wow. What? Oh my god, the recall hit so far! <laughs> it does! Oh, okay. My bike's not strong enough for this. Oh, there's the red dragon. I shall call him Nosferatu. Nosferatu. Alright, that was kind of work. No, Ratu. No, bitch.
And I just saw John build the Hindenburg. <laughs> It's necessary. I've seen people build like high fighters and stuff. <laughs> what? It's pretty amazing. Or like, um, there's so many like pod racing, like the pod racer um, from Star Wars. The people have built like yeah, yeah. pod racers, functional ones too that actually like work. It's pretty amazing. Oh, the dragon! The dragon! I want to be your friend! Wait, if I hop on his back right now, he's going to take me into the depths, isn't he? Yep. Yep. Is it worth it? Yep. All right. You can ride around on, on him indefinitely. Like, he won't kick you off. Wait, the air itself burns. Oh, Wait, what? He, he oh right. Have, the, uh... He doesn't have the gear. God damn it! <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not again! Oh! Hooray for heat rising! Yeah, all the drag, all the dragons have uh, rising air, air currents air. around them. Well, you didn't tell me about the fucking heat clothing needed, so <laughs> I didn't think you needed it. But... For the dragon one, you do, and then for the um, the ice one, it will freeze you if you get too close. I think, or at least the air gets really cold. You could freeze these nuts. <laughs> Dang. Got him. Hey oh. Did you hear what's happened? Oh my god. I landed in the mud pit. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. There's something very satisfying about flying around on the flying machines. And then, like, immediately going for an aerial strike. Oh! I just killed a bird with my flying machine. <laughs> Good job. Man, you can work for Boeing now. <laughs> Look at all these rockets and batteries. I've already found the treasure on the map. Great. storm cloud there. I'm gonna fly into it. Sounds like a smart idea. Yep. Totally. Uh oh. No, the wing's already gonna disappear. Hold on. I gotta go back. Oh no. Hey, there's a shrine. Don't disappear what? on me. Damn it. Fuck it. Oh. We'll do it live. Oh. That was close. At least you have your parts. Yeah. Right, I'll just get another wing. And luckily, I just built that, so I can just build it again. Wait, what happened when I build it with the crystal thing on it? I don't know. Oh, I don't need to build that way. Uh, I can do this.
this one without the batteries. Fuck! Alright, I think I'm gonna call it in the next few minutes because I'm getting tired. Okay. Sounds like a plan. I'm just gonna get to this tower first. Yeah, I mean we have been going a little longer than uh than usual. Yeah, and I already took I took my my uh magnesium at like 8:30, so it kicked in a bit ago. Oh God, but... I'm gonna drown. No. Uh... <laughs> no. <laughs> Unfortunate. This has been fun, though. Yeah, it yeah. has. It's good to know that we can multi-stream like that. Yeah, that's awesome. And even though we're playing a single-player game, it's still a voice stream. Yes. And the best part is, I'm sure there'll still be content if we do this another time with oh, Brandon. Yeah, for sure. Or maybe next time we can try Breath of the Wild uh, uh, multiplayer. True. How do we even begin to do that? Uh, I, I can I can send you like the mod download. It's it's not actually that hard. Like they made it as easy as possible. Nice. Oh boy, it is dark here. Visibility can... is not good there. Uh oh, there's also thunder here. Yeah, I'm equip my. My wooden or my elect my uh metal items. Think I should be okay. Oh no! Oh, it's thundery and rainy here. I think I see an island. I'm not sure I can get to it though. Oh, this was a mistake. Oh, is that a blood moon or just the sun? I can't even tell where you are right now. <laughs> I'm, I flew into a, like a thundercloud looking kind of thing. Okay, yeah, I definitely fell off the island already. Oh well. Into the ground! Falling at faster than terminal velocity, just land. Not a scratch. I'm pretty sure I need to advance a little bit more in the story in order to do that. Um, uh, to get to that that island covered in the thundercloud. Ah. Uh. Good runs. Yeah, I think we, we all did really good tonight. Wow, you've explored a lot of the depths. I've barely explored it. Me? Yeah. Yeah, I uh, can't form words. Uh, it's fun. Yeah, it is. Oh, I never did this shrine? Alright, I'll do that real quick. And plus, that's what the zone is. Yeah, that's at least the best place to get zone. Actually, I think it's the only place because I don't think there's any on the surface. No. It's nice though. It makes the depths feel a little bit more necessary. <laughs> 